boom shakalaka. And this is for all my teachers who said I wouldn't beat shit. Look at me now, bitch. I ain't shit. That nigga got baseball proof shoes. <laughs> he got, uh, he got the slip resistance. <laughs> That nigga got the Wendy's Kitchen Crew shoes on. <laughs> you got them shits I had without working a check. Man, you got to order these out the black. The black is with the Velcro. <laughs> I do wonder. You know, I'm thinking about it. Sometimes I wonder. What song do you that? ever wonder? I don't know this song. If we should wonder. Maybe we should. What it would have been. What, what it would have. I uh, freestyle. I like that though. I just wrote that right there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I ain't got no time to All right, I've been, I've been, I've been writing um pop songs. Maybe I guess oh, I ain't yeah. been writing them. I've been voice recording them in my phone. Okay, <laughs> then. Shit. Yeah, Let's like get to plug it up. Me, what nah, we ain't gonna do that. But <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. Let me see what I did last. It's the adapter. I show write a fire. I wrote a fire ass kid song the other day when I was peeing. I'm talking about I had a hook and half a verse. Oh, demons. Boy, I thought you said penis at first. I was about to say, turn that shit out, Kato. Okay? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, turn that shit the fuck out, nigga. Yeah, this, I don't know that, yeah. It's the new intro music. Mm mm. Mm mm. Kato the pop star. I'm just saying. I like that song. What I just say? I ain't even remember what I say. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about on here. Because mm-hmm. I, I like the dead one too. It's still there. This one's still there too. You're right. You're right. This and I got to, I'm going to see it again. It's in there. Yeah, yeah. Because I like that one too. Yeah. I'm finna make me some pop music, goddamn. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Shit, is there anybody out there that can save me from my demons? Shit, all right. I I ain't got no demons for real, but it sound good. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I wear some emo clothes. Okay, I want to say it. This is emo (laughs) than a bitch. This is the first time I heard it. Anybody out there can save me from my demons? You're my favorite nightmare. (laughs) (laughs) Shit, I Will anybody love me? (laughs) Everybody left me. (laughs) Shit. Dark dreams, dark dreams every night. Wait, what? Man, yeah, we fucking. I don't even want to drink. <laughs> I just want to fight. I just want to fight. Is there anybody out <laughs> there who can save me from my demons? <laughs> Shit, all right. Y'all better stop I fucking pushing with us. Oh, goddamn. Shit, <laughs> all right. Dark jeans. I ain't got me like two. I can't wear them here at night yet. Goddamn it. I'm mad you put that bar in there. Now you gotta live up to it. <laughs> I don't even know what I said. I, I, I heard something about dark jeans every night. Goddamn. Oh, dreams. Dreams. Oh, okay. So I ain't got to buy no more jeans. You gotta wear the same pants. No <laughs> <laughs> I don't got them. As soon as you said that shit, as <laughs> soon as you said that, it popped up. Like, damn, we got with dark jeans every night, man. I got me like two pairs. Oh, that's a wild lyric. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, it would have went. It would have uh, went, though. That's 1950s. <laughs> it would have beat your ass. <laughs> Uh, Let's do what we probably be doing, uh, god damn it. Yeah, uh, What's happening? Clapboard. Oh, shit, with that bitch hit right there. Yeah. In that little spot up. I ain't say I made it for uh, Transformers, it what happens when all the oil's gone? All right, fun fact. Um, <laughs> the first time they asked me what I wanted to be when I was in school, <laughs> I told them I wanted to be a Transformer <laughs> mechanic. <laughs> And that's what the teacher did. And I don't understand. Because they motherfucking cars, ain't it? Ain't they motherfucking cars? No. That's what you mean. They're not. They is, though. They're, they're alien robots. They turn to cars. But they're not real cars. I bet he got a transmission. Maybe. I bet he got a motor. You need ish. a mechanic for that. You need ish. a mechanic. They have those things ish. So I'm supposed to either. So. No, yeah, as a little kid. Robot yes, doctor. No. A fucking tr- goddamn home. I don't buy mechanic because I ain't fucking with the Decepticons. I feel like they ain't gonna pay the bill. Yeah, that dude was very untrustworthy. <laughs> Decepticons roll out like, nah, y'all ain't pay. <laughs> y'all ain't pay. 
Dang. I had to call the police. Yeah, pretty much. You was right. <laughs> uh-uh, because I bet I make more money than you, bitch. I bet that. I bet my husband ain't cheat on me. <laughs> okay. I don't know what you supposed to say there, I, I don't know. What <laughs> what I bet husband, my shoes look good. What if my husband didn't cheat on her? I ain't got a husband. Wait, what? Now you just shooting in the, in the dark. I, I get more than apples for gifts every year. Yeah, I, I do do that. I do get I'm more. I'm trying to think of the oh, teachers. What if they still get apples? They still get apples? Would be. Yeah, it's hard to insult the teacher. It's hard to insult. You, it's, it's probably best that I try. I'm sorry, teachers. I'm right. sorry. That was unnecessary. All of that. Take it off. Man. It I, was. Erase your teacher, please. Hey, but stop. It? Stop giving y'all teachers apples. They don't want your fucking apple. Go get your teacher something they can use. Bring a pencil to class. At least a class. candy apple. A candy apple? At least put some karma on that bitch. <laughs> Shit. Bring an apple. Teacher's teeth fucked up. <laughs> She eating it with a knife in her forehead. Okay. <laughs> Your morning class, I'm bullshit. <laughs> I got them candy apple back. Kids at home, mom, why does the teacher eat an apple with a fork? Man, okay, corn too. <laughs> corn on the car with a knife. God damn it. Oh. Man, that's Man. fucked up. We love y'all teachers. Um, shit, let's <laughs> <laughs> We do love y'all though, teachers. No, I had some teachers I liked. I had some. A lot of y'all I didn't like though. Man, some of nah, y'all, a lot of y'all suck ass, mean ass motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you the ones I hate is the ones who know you. Did, maybe this me because I was bad. Like, did the mm. teachers know you was coming? I don't know. What, like, to the next like, year? yeah, like my my seventh grade teacher, my, my eighth grade teacher was like, ah. Oh. I got this little day. They had this opposite. Like the kids be looking at their schedule like, oh, no, we got the mean teacher. They and do. The they be looking do. at their schedule like, oh, we got Kato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, no, that happened a couple me. of them was but like, it was a good way. they knew I was bad, but they never bothered to look at what the fuck I was doing. So they were surprised when I was smart, God damn it. And that right. offended me for real. It's like, oh, you can, like, off the rip, mm. nigga, you cheat. You know how to read. <laughs> 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 nigga, you cheat. Hey, now hey, you cheat. Come here. <laughs> come here. Right. Remember what we were saying That's about what it felt like. <laughs> That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. Remember when we like, all called no, us stupid? No, no. Reform. Reform. Yeah, reform. Do it again. Do what you just did. <laughs> okay. Can you do it right now? Do I don't even got to use you, my can you, are you gonna be up? Do it right now. Yeah, but yeah. Well, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Yeah, yeah. That's what it felt like. Now, mine was different because my older sister was like a... Model student, just because she just oh, was. So they expected you to and, be yeah, like, oh, and then they would be like, oh, this is a boy. Are you shit. sure that's your sister? Man, wait. Like, y'all got the same parents? This is like, a boy. Yeah, they Y'all just met each other. Yeah, mine. And I would, well, when I did my work, I get good grades. <laughs> yeah, that was that was an issue with me for a few years. Shit. If I do this shit, I know this shit, but I think yeah. that's the problem. My handwriting got me in a lot of trouble too. I think, like, I, I hear motherfuckers say that you got like motherfuckers be like, it was, school was too boring. Like, I knew this shit already, so it, I you can't grasp my interest with this shit. Yeah, because I feel like I really feel like most of the shit is, but like you teaching me shit, I know I already. I can, yeah. I'm not interested in this shit. For but real. it wasn't even that for me. It wasn't even so much whether I knew it already or not. It was really just I don't care. I don't care about whatever this is that y'all got going on that you're making me do every day. It's I don't care. I do don't want to do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And I said I wasn't trying to get sent home. So God damn, okay, I gotta I now I gotta submit it. to Fuck something. It. Goddamn. Man, okay. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Give me the test, right. bitch. Motherfucker. <laughs> and you don't even be studying that. and be doing good. Now they want to get your motion. This and shit like, pissed my motherfucking sisters man. off so bad. <laughs> you just be doing good. Because <laughs> they study. Like I remember they. I come home like they study and study. Right. Like, no, we can't go to the concert. We got to study. study. Shit, I don't even, I don't how even study. That's why I, I say I don't even know how, how to, to fucking that. study. The what am I supposed to do? Read we this shit over and over? Again? <laughs> <laughs> that don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> I read it once. I understand it. This is glad today. It's the same right. words again. What I was supposed to get from it this time. I, I did. Right. I ain't never understood. I, I tried a couple times. Like, I'll, nigga, I'm going to study today, it. nigga. Like, what? Mm -hmm. I read this shit four times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what else you supposed mm -hmm. to? Wait a minute. They be highlighting shit. <laughs> they be highlighting shit. Fuck it. I got a highlighter. Never okay. use this bitch. Let's do it. <laughs> Fuck, didn't get fuck nothing out of this for. shit I didn't get the first time, goddamn it. They and, be mad as fuck. And 
this the other thing that pissed me off over time in school, and it translated to my adult life, and I'm just realizing this. Look at this. Look at this therapy on the camera. Man, all right. I never appreciated the fact that I would do all the shit, good, good grades, and it wouldn't get me nothing extra. Yeah, no. It don't it, do nothing. No. It's just like you go to work and you do your job and everybody else don't. But you don't get nothing don't, for that. No, they, 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 they might get something said to them, but if you do your job well enough, they not even going to know they ain't doing their job, God damn it. Just fucking. Like, just, what is life? Man, what are we doing? I got a few. What is the I point? got a few goddamn stops I be at like that. Man, how I be saying, man, none of this shit matters, like They don't man. even know for real. None of this matters. None of this matters at all. All these people getting all these new houses built and- 300 years, this shit gonna be gone. This shit ain't and nobody's gonna, gonna know gone. that your these dog is houses, buried in the backyard. These Nothing. new houses that I'm seeing being built, it ain't gonna be 300 years. Yeah, but I'm saying, this is exactly, <laughs> like 300 years from now, they whatever happened now, nobody's ever gonna know nothing about this shit. Yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah. You can have seven dogs in your backyard. Ain't nobody gonna know 300 years from now that's what happened or what happened or care. It's all they put pointless. a space pool back there. It's all pointless. You're like, yeah, what right. the fuck is who the fuck right. used to kill dogs around this bitch? They just <laughs> buried them instead of eating them. <laughs> what if the niggas might like really have? That might be the fucking menu is the fancy dogs instead of a fancy cow. Man, okay. It might be fancy dogs in the man, future. Right. You don't fucking know. Be, God damn it. Like shit, and they'll be like niggas buried their dogs. Man, what? Why didn't they just eat them? Man, like, all right. <laughs> who the fuck got rid of all this good meat? Pause. <laughs> Such a wasteful civilization. Man, all right. You ready? We is, though. Shit, we been here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Right, cool. I don't know what else you say after that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode, baby. You hey. know what I'm talking about? This is the Smoker for Me, the podcast. We no, is the smokers. We is up in this thing one you more time on. You know what I'm you talking about? You know Hey. B. We appreciate y'all rocking with her like y'all been rocking with her, man. Just keep on rocking with her. How you been rocking with her? On oh, God, We going to keep on rocking out. We been rocking. On oh, God, Neil. Oh, uh, Christian Rock. 256-788-7339. At the smokers at gmail.com. Like, Johnson. comment, subscribe, share, notification bell. Uh, tell your mama. Tell your baby mama. Lip tell your uh, dad's best friend that really raised you because your dad wasn't really there. I free um, your daddy. That Free too. Him. <laughs> Free him, please. <laughs> uh, don't be mad at, your, at his friend for fucking money. Um, that what he's supposed to Tell do. your grandmama. About your tell you, tell your granddaddy before he go. Uh, tell, tell your sister to tell her homegirl's boyfriend. Okay, all right. Cause she Smoke a permitted podcast, bitch. We in here him. once again. This oh, is really? episode 135. Shout out to Bob for keeping up God with the numbers damn and it. shit. Cause 135, I ho. have no fucking idea. To my right is the oh, Honorable man. Reverend Cato Jackson. The one and only. Thank you the irreparable. Much. Polo God himself. If, if swag, swag man. Uh, let me, uh, uh, shade on 2345, right. cause why not? Bitch, uh, <laughs> what would it say? 10 <laughs> minus 2, cause he <laughs> ate. Uh, okay, then. Motherfucking... I ain't never heard Trip. that one. I like that one. Y'all don't eat, because you don't be listening to new songs. It's right. a whole thing. It's All cool. Right. It's cool. All and right. I am Bob Jacquez. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do yourself some of them. Shit. You deserve some of them, too. Shit. We in here, y'all. Thank you for joining us. We back once again. I hope y'all liked the last episode. I hope y'all liked the next episode. And I hope y'all liked this episode. Y'all well, might like start this. doing that every episode. Might as well. Yeah, shit. I might like as that. well. I might shit. not remember it either. But we here though, goddamn. Thank you. Uh, comment down there. Send us a text. Email us. Tell somebody else to do all that shit too. Just say, just put a period. Do something. You don't even got to really say nothing. Just put a period. No, say it's something. Seen. Say something. Nah, you don't got to say nothing. You, you might just feel like that. You might just feel like period. Yeah, if you don't feel like you saying nothing. You might just feel nothing. like period. Goddamn, then we'll know that what you Purr. feel like when you put the period. Per. Right, Goddamn. Put um, a period. Put a comma. What it been like since the last time I seen you, man? Shit, what happened since last time? We went here last weekend. I went to Louisiana. Uh, Louisiana. Uh, I went to Louisiana. Oh. Uh, uh, Damn, yeah. I don't got no Louisiana drops on here, man. I went. Is, was that, that your beach? Louisiana accent? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh. You no. got country as a motherfucker for a minute, right? I did. I was driving me Louisiana. <laughs> Damn, my bad. My bad. Oh, oh. Yeah, I went down there. Um, so my whole thing, like, I was. What happened? What happened? <coughs> what happened? 
I decided for the first time <coughs> since I've been going and living in Louisiana, I was going to go be a tourist mm -hmm. Louisiana. Okay. I ain't never done that shit Have before. Have you ever approached any city as like just I'm here to be a tourist? Absolutely. Okay. And Denver, you just Colorado, never applied it like to Denver, a place Denver, that you lived I didn't before. even see the projects in Denver. Damn. I ain't, that's the only time I've ever been to a city and not seen Damn. the projects. I was all the way, I talk, I was riding scooters to get the weed, nigga. Without a pistol. No, nah, I had the pistol. Nah, yeah. It felt like I should say it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Taurus. Taurus in Louisiana. What is that like? Tell me, I don't know what, <coughs> I do not have the liberty to do things in life the way I would want to. So I don't know how I would mentally approach it because I'm not one of those people that like I'm not a window shopper. Okay. You feel me? Does that correlate? Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, like I don't, so yeah. I don't wanna I don't I don't look up stuff online. I don't go places where there's stuff that I want until I know that this might be feasible to actually matter for me looking at it. Okay. So when approaching any type of trip or vacation, I've never been in a position where I thought to myself, this is going to be a full out tourist experience. Yeah. So what is that mindset so, like when you start out like you would because you thought this before you got in the car. So what you what was your was first the, moment like? The plane. You know what? When I go to Louisiana, I'm going to do some tourist shit. So like, what's that I decided being? I was going to take mushrooms. I was going <laughs> to go to the aquarium. Because I ain't been in the aquarium since I was a kid. I was going to go to the aquarium, goddamn. Damn. Bitch. Sounds smooth as hell. Louisiana, I, get, I never heard about the Louisiana And then after Aquarium. that, I was like, yeah, no, you know what? I should just do some old touristy shit if I'm going to the aquarium. I should okay. go on the motherfucking uh, 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 graveyard tour. What? Yeah, they got no, yeah. no, no, yeah. See, no, that's, no. That's Lu no. I'm, I'm telling you, no. That's Louisiana tourist. You don't, shit, no, you Louisiana don't. Know, but you got it, but you have to preface, preface it. Is that how they say it? Preface. You have to preface your great. You don't go from mushrooms in the aquarium to the next trip on your great. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> so Louisiana, Louisiana got some real historical. <laughs> Some real historical graves, for real. And you know, Louisa, New Orleans real spooky anyway, a little bit. They got a spooky, <laughs> spooky, spooky aura. Oh, uh, So, shit. yeah. And then all of the graves, most of them above ground, because if you can't bury them in the ground, because the water gets yeah, the so saturated. It's all the mausoleums. Dirt. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, wait, is this something that you had wanted to do before in your childhood? Is it something you saw? Like, what? No, I mean, no, this I'm stuff, not connecting. Like, the, the tourists come to town, this is like the shit they do. They go to the fucking, ooh, it's spooky. So, it's growing up, y'all would just watch a bunch of dodos go to the graveyard. Yeah, you, you be <laughs> sitting and you walking to some of the graveyard close to the bronze and shit, and you see fucking 13 white people, <laughs> led by a nigga, go to the graveyard, goddammit. How much do you make the tour of the graveyard? Um... Yeah, because it's, it's Whoa. It, booking on certain tours, different tours, but they start around $25 per person. And if you fucking, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can bring, like, fucking. We didn't want to walk down the sidewalk that to concrete? No, you going through the, like, you in the in the cemetery. Yeah. But no, nah, they telling you your stories. But yeah, pretty much. They know the what? history behind these cemeteries, so they going to tell it to you. You're going to give them $25. Yeah, they Wikipedia that like, bitch for you pulled yeah, up. Absolutely. And there's like 10 of them, God damn. damn it. But yeah, New Orleans got a, all kind of tours like that. Like okay, what's well, okay? Tours so you shit. go from aquarium to graveyard. Um, what else was I planning? I feel, I feel, I feel what you're doing. You went from underwater to, to underground. No, now, see, can we get above, like, on ground? Is yeah, there nah, anything we, to do up here? We got Barber Street, we got Canal Street, we got French Quarter and shit. We can walk you up. <laughs> yeah, you got to cover all the areas, all the layers. Everything set the sky. It, yeah, we can't go up there. Oh, okay. we can't go you up ain't go there. nowhere and do the little. Parachute thing in the tunnel? No, nah, we can't. Maybe. Nah. You ain't gonna do that? I ain't gonna do that. Not even gonna... in the tunnel? I'm, even if I on wanted to, I feel like. You too big? Yeah, I don't know that. See, and I don't want to. Google wanna, it. Yeah, Let's but, go, though. No, nah, because that ain't the kind of shit of you want to have a, a, a recording of you finding out you can't do for real. Yeah, we got to find out before we go. We I just, find out I just we got there later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laying on the floor. And Everybody outside bitch. the tunnel just waiting. <laughs> okay. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up. It's up all the way. Okay. Yeah, see, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'd be laughing. That ain't something I couldn't you find go out to. Yeah, yeah. Now, we got to look that up. 
I don't want to do it. I'm yeah, I was I was big at one time and I, I got on the roller coaster and the, the thing they would oh. it would lock, god damn it. Oh no. See, I've been too small where it felt like this isn't yeah, enough. Yeah, what? But now like, dude now struggling in the end, it locked, but it, it was like click. And dude she was like click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, yeah, now nah, um I'm good over here. Like y'all go, I'm straight. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that sound like it worked correctly. Man, like you didn't need as many belt loops. I'm, yeah, pretty yeah. You need his belt loops clicked. You still though, the still one. though. I feel like yeah, when nah, it started, I, I hear that. If, if it started I unclicking, <laughs> I only got click. He got click, 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 click. He got a lot of clicks to unclick. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm good on this one. Oh, uh, first time I got in the wooden roller coaster. Only yeah, time. no, yeah, man. I've done that. And scared I scared the shit yeah. out of me. Never did it again, man. Right, so what's the next step after the graveyard, though? But now, yeah, we Bourbon Street, Bourbon Street. Canals, cause I'm what, with you some was people. Bar hopping? I'm no, I don't. It's it's like bar hopping, but it's so imagine you was just street walking. Pretty much, it's street <laughs> it's street walking till you run out of drink, and then you pop in a bar and buy you a drink, see what's going on. Back to street walking, goddamn. Okay. Cause yeah. most of the bars is like gay bars for it. But no, yeah. not right here, not on Bourbon Street. I'm thinking of the French quarters. Yeah, nah, ain't the part of the French Quarter I visit ain't got no bars and shit in there. Okay. I visit like the part where like you feel like it should be like, um I don't know. I don't know. Like it's the a French big ass well church enough to do that. It's a park where I go. It's ah. a big ass church and like, yeah. Okay. It feel like I should have my white linen suit with my white hat on okay. while I'm there. That's why I did that right there. And it felt like I That's should. The second time I done dropped the same blunt. Man, I, I, you ain't got no business. I don't got no business. Though. But yeah, no. I, I did that too. I did get the polo white linen suit mm -hmm. just for the New Orleans trip. Like nigga, I'm going to the French Quarter with the polo white linen, yeah. and I'm all right. And I felt very. What was what was the weather like when you were there? Oh, uh, it was beautiful. Oh, and then the hurricane had came. We was we left on Thursday, and the hurricane hit there on Thursday. So Damn. like we had passed each other. <laughs> so the Airbnb was a little bit cheaper. Cause the oh, first one man. got damaged. First Airbnb we booked, they had to cancel. On the day we leaving, cause it was there the day we left. Damn. Yeah. Windows broken, power out and shit. Damn. How the fuck? Damn. We fuck like what we gonna real fast? Then they like yeah no nah, yeah bitch you gonna give me a refund? They like no nah, we gonna give you a slow credit like bitch nah ain't bitch no stuff. give me a refund. You ain't no stuff bitch. <laughs> but, but then they was like it's gonna take these many days and I'm like oh yeah shit it's like a thousand dollars. Right. <laughs> now I got to spend another thousand dollars right. to get okay. another what you said one. About that credit? But then they they hit her back real fast like it came back yeah. that day. I was like oh that's surprising. <laughs> So uh, you know, they we gotta say that shit for legal reasons. Got another one, which was even better because it was more expensive originally, but now it's cheaper because yeah. hurricane just came. Got yeah, damn, hurricane nobody price. Down here, guys, baby. Disaster prices. Shit, all right. We in walking distance to all the little Bourbon Street, French Quarter, all, not French uh -huh. Quarter, Bourbon Street, Canal Street. We can walk to it. Bourbon Street a mile away. Canal Street. Which one got the tra the trolley be going down? In? Canal Street. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, we yeah we but oh. Uh, you go one way, we're not both ways. Mm -hmm. Like it's yeah, mm -hmm. you you in New Orleans yeah, where we live in. Yeah. Yeah, like it's not the other one that had got damaged was on Canal Street. Like it was right there. Like in the You with the tourist. Yeah. Yeah, nah, you was right in the here city. you, you can walk the to the tourist, but they not over yeah, here. They, and they not coming over here. Either. I'm with some people I shouldn't be with. I, I mean, I work with them. They cool, but they kind of young to be out here. <laughs> a couple wet behind of, the ears. A couple of them too young to be here with me for real, cause we live different. Like I'm, I'm worried about. I know about the dangers that can present themselves. Yeah, they oblivious to the dangers that can present themselves, <laughs> so they don't move the same way I move. So we walking through like. What used to be, this what fucked me up. It used to be the hood, the projects, all this shit. Gentrified then a bitch. Like gentrified then a bitch. Right. So I'm like, man, y'all can't, y'all gotta keep it down like out here for real. Hey, like, ooh, yeah, just our New Orleans trip and shit. Like, no. yeah, nah, y'all, no. But then I'm looking around, like, yeah, no, nah, maybe so. Like that is the white lady in the pool sitting on the porch. Yeah, it's, it's gentrified. It's over with now. This is the, it, what, what's the gentrified name of New Orleans? I think, <laughs> for real, for real, 
I think Nolans is it for like <laughs> I think because motherfuckers say Nolans sometimes, but when you, this like the motherfuckers in the Damn. swamp down there, they yeah. be like, yeah, nah, they be talking I, like I got Nolans up level. there, yeah. yeah. But now all the motherfuckers who move in there and shit, like, no, you gotta say it right. You gotta say Nolans. Damn. Like, all right. So damn Nolans. Yeah. Gentrified Nolans. But yeah, it's a lot different than what it used to be in the spots where we. Used to be. Damn. <laughs> With a good trip. And I was thinking, trip like, I'm, I'm walking around the fucking, I'm Mel for me. Like, prods is prods. Yeah. Like, what the rappers talk about. Yeah. With a, a tall ass white boy and two Mexicans <laughs> right there. <laughs> you look like the dude that came to do the hood videos. Man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we safe right now. For so It feels safer than it's supposed to feel. <laughs> but yeah, I did a lot of tourist shit and shit. And I mean, I enjoy myself for the most part. I felt like a babysitter a little bit. Just got to take some niggas my age the next time we go. Goddamn, have have a men's trip, some shit like that. Oh. Damn, you just called them all boys. I ain't called them no, all you boys, did. but you did. I heard no, you. they heard they, they kind of young. It's some of them. It's on there. But it was still a fun trip. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so I should have said this on the, the the fucking aquarium. Um, never meet your heroes, maybe. I don't know how else. Like, it Damn. was fucking so underwhelming now that I'm a full grown adult. Damn. <laughs> but that's why I asked, because I, I didn't. I don't remember ever hearing about Louisiana. No, Twitter. it was a big deal when, for a while when it first opened and shit. But when did it open? Like, it's been there? Oh, it's been there for quite a while. Yeah. yeah. yeah it used to be the aquarium. Up, and you would think that in Louisiana, that would be a place where there'd be a fucking awesome aquarium. It was. But my, my what I was really looking forward to, there's a tunnel that you walk through. And there's like, water above you. Yeah, it's a aquarium tunnel. Yeah, all the fish will sleep. And I was like, "This gonna no, nah, that was there and shit, but it was like a lot shorter than I remembered." <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like it took me a while to walk through this when I was younger. Like now, the first time you go back to your elementary school, man, what? And you be like, "Damn, this is all the hallway." I used to jump so hard to get up there. Yeah, nigga, this it. But yeah, I looked at my watch after we went through. It was like, oh, that took 37 minutes. Yeah. That's not about right. That was $44. Uh -huh. yeah. It's like riding a scooter. Man, okay. <laughs> but then we went to the insectarium and the mushrooms kicked all the way in. Uh, so. <laughs> I, I've never been to an insectarium. Neither did it was, intriguing it, me now. Nah, it, it was some no? bullshit. Just too. two scorpions and a spider? Man, okay. All right. I didn't see no scorpions. Damn. It was uh, some, just some tarantulas. It was nice. Did I see some spiders? What's in the insect area? Yeah, nah, it was like some fucking grubs and I seen some mealworms. Bruh, <laughs> they showed you the fucking food for the fish. Hey, it was a butterfly house. They, they, hey, they was already the butterfly kicked house. In. I went to one they had somewhere. already, yeah. I don't remember where. I remember. I remember walking down this path and all these trees and there was fucking butterflies every fucking where. And I was with my aunt and she was kept being like where and I kept being like the. Right there. Oh, that was there, well, but I ain't feel because I'm on mushrooms, so you know I, my thinking ain't the same as it is. You know not how much you mushrooms. did. No, I did a whole eighth. I did. A eighth. <laughs> so um, I'm in there, and dude come, dude walk like the super the butterfly house nigga. Yeah. He in there like um, okay, so don't touch the butterflies, but if they want to touch you, that's okay. That's their decision. And right now I'm like, yeah, now nah, that's some bullshit. Like what the fuck you mean? <laughs> What the fuck you mean? <laughs> I ain't gonna touch me, but I can't touch them. Why the fuck is that my decision if they could touch me or not, goddamn? He was in Louisiana about to rebel against but butterflies. Gee, all right, all right. <laughs> bitch, don't touch me if I can't touch you, bitch. Hey, but I think you're back, Jack. Hey, hey. I had to call the police. This nigga here fighting the butterflies. <laughs> Yeah, there's a man out here. He's, he's, he's pulled his gun on the butterfly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Motherfucker, we were like, yeah, he took mushrooms. <laughs> I owe <yo>, drugs. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Hey, that, hey, that got to be a crazy. Oh, that had to be some serious. To be. I ain't never yeah, because you had guys where you was going. I ain't never been so worried, though. <laughs> <laughs> so what up, the Mexican? He like 23. What up? He got no 22, maybe. Damn. He got drunk as fuck on Cheap Gin. Like, drunk as fuck. Decided, I'm finna go find an authentic New Orleans pool. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Isaiah. You know? Okay. All right. Yeah, let's go. I, I play pool, so I'm going to go to a dangerous city and just uh, Abs, in the I middle said, of one drunk probably, night on the weekend. That's not find a pool good home. idea. God damn it. Somebody in a Kango is going to kill you. <laughs> what are you doing? He can't what fathom you, this. You, He's like, no, nah, you don't understand the culture. Somebody who talks like this. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody who talk like this. <laughs> With a fucking cigarette in their mouth, He said, I didn't understand the culture of pool walls. <laughs> like, bro, you don't understand the culture of big cities, goddamn. Man. He might That's a, people from here are so boot, like, they're so egotistical. It's crazy how much they feel like, because they not from Ardmore. They're a city person. Yeah, you know. And like, they no. ain't never been in no city. Man, like, motherfuckers would do Y'all don't know what a city is. I thought is. about it. When after I walked through them projects that wasn't the projects, like maybe I'm just from a different time and shit ain't like it was, God damn it. That's part of it. But as someone who from 11 years, 11, 12 years old, I was flying on a plane by myself up north. I've, I've been going up there. I knew the transportation up there. I done been to different cities up there. And coming back here and going back and forth, you see the difference. Most people <laughs> okay. I know do not know at all what it's like to live somewhere where you could really never need a car yeah, and be yeah. able to get everywhere you need to go just fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, just that by itself, let alone getting outside of the city that you're in because you got trains that will take you to the next city. Yeah, you know I ain't never. Saying? I got, still like, want to ride the subway, goddamn. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't know what it's like to get on the subway train. Well, if you've been to... Well, not nah, because niggas don't know what it's like to go to a big airport. I've been to the Denver airport. Yeah, but that's that, what I'm saying. That, like, a lot of niggas that. don't know. You got to go and find that car. You got to get on this like a subway train that you got to ride across the yard to the other part I of the airport. I was, like, shit, I, at the man. Huntsville airport? <laughs> nigga, shit. it's over there, nigga. It's right there. Like, you ain't got to go nowhere. Shit, Denver? Hey. Them motherfuckers shit, I'm. Oh, yeah, no, nah, you got to get on this train yeah. and yeah. then get on that train to go to over, over there. To <laughs> Man, bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you learn some shit on the boy. That bitch was like a Or city. you don't, and you get left. Man, okay. <laughs> shit, shit, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, folks don't understand that difference of, the, of a real city like that. I don't think it's only, that's all I'm saying, I don't think it's only the time. It might be some of the time. And the gentrification, yeah, but and and that present itself like, oh, okay, it's safe over here. This looks like something I'm used to. Cause I knew, like, and not knowing, like, you don't know who lives behind those walls. Man, okay, <laughs> cause when we was walking, like, I walked, I took a couple strolls by myself. <laughs> like, I'm gonna go see what I'm around for real, yeah. for real. That's what I be doing. But then I was like, yeah, now, nah, nah, like, you would hood. still get shot over yeah, here. Yeah, nah. I, I mean, was, once I, I was, I was taking a Greyhound and got, I had a layover in DC, and I was hard headed. Young, man, okay. man that was wanted to go and do some shit, so I went to do it. And I realized, like, it's a few times. I, I did this shit in uh, Cleveland. I did, it's a few cities I'd have been out and been like, by, solo, solo, yeah, dog, bro. I, I feel like I'm oh. good now, though. I feel like I'm old nigga now, and I, I feel like it ain't nowhere I, I shouldn't be. I always felt like I was good. I mean, yeah, too, but at first I felt like I was good because I was like, yeah, bitch. You play with me, goddamn. We are gonna do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. It's all, yeah, everything now, goes. Now I feel like I'm out here. Like, who who honk is that? Right. <laughs> he know I'm just walking, right? Right. Yeah, I'm just taking a stroll, nephew. Cool <laughs> <laughs> act. Cool act. Cool it now. It was several porches with BG playing. I think. Man. So, like was BG, it new BG or yeah, I would say BG, BG songs I ain't never heard, so they oh, in touch. Damn. God uh, damn. damn. So yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Did you use your New Orleans accent on anyone when you got there? Did you get? I, the... I, I tried not to. Like I was. You felt like you was gonna sound out of touch. No, I just felt like I was. I I would get. I get lost for real. Like if I don't, then con- they go heavy into yeah, it. Yeah. If I don't lose, if I don't control the shit, like I just come back. Oh, so, you'll yeah. go heavy into it. Yeah, you worry yeah. about that. It's only gonna happen while you're around them. No, but it, it stay for a little while too. It's, it's like mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the residuals. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I gotta try not to. <laughs> Cause when you hear it, it's easy to go oh, there. I'm so mad. I missed that. Yeah, Damn. Right. Damn. Damn, I, I ain't my, get my to spiritual see you advisor. In the, yeah, I ain't get to see you in your uh, spirit state. Yeah, I want to <laughs> see my spiritual advisor. Oh, that too. Yeah, and she, I guess she could tell I was did the mushrooms or something right oh, there. Oh, you saw her that day? No, nah, it was the next day. She okay. was like, I, 
I feel, apparently I, I was more in touch, guys. David, you are. than I have ever been. Yeah, quit acting like and you, and you ain't did it for forever. Man, what? Well, uh, she told me that like, you feel more, more here. Did you ask her if I could holler at her? Yeah, no, nah, I didn't. See? I, I didn't. I didn't hmm. feel comfortable. <laughs> I can't I get I can't get no spirit I guidance. Kinda, I can't get no witches I'm I met to tell me nothing. I can't get no none of the I don't I can't get she, nobody to she, introduce me to a voodoo she, lady. She intended I can't, no, this is my spiritual guide. I can't get nobody to introduce me to a voodoo lady. I don't none know. of this shit. I can't get now nothing. She kinda intimidated. It's fine. I looked some shit up. I did some shit. I'm gonna make it work. I'm we're gonna get us a witch on the special sessions though. I hope that's not like I don't I don't Think that's disrespectful to say witch. I hope not. No, if okay. it's a witch, if she's a witch, we're gonna get us somebody on the special. Would sessions. you know one? I think so. I oh, think come so. on, witch. <laughs> she didn't sound disrespectful. She didn't sound disrespectful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should. I can't hold that in. I'm sorry. It's so immature. It's so well, immature. <laughs> All right, she's not gonna come now. <laughs> I heard what your little friend is said. <laughs> She ain't gonna recognize. You got a curse right. on him now. <laughs> I can rob so many dudes. Man, okay. Yo, that's how I'm here. That motherfucker thought you was a fan. It was like, what's up? <laughs> oh, it's y'all. Yeah, it bitches us. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I'll be, well, never mind. Um, we, yeah, yeah, what we gonna get what to? What you do this week? <laughs> <laughs> what I do? Uh, Oh. <laughs> I ain't do much. I, I ain't do much this week. It was not a very eventful week okay, overall. I, um, uh, I did at the end of the week, though. Okay. All right. When it matter most at the end. Catch my son in some bullshit. No, man. And also, consequently, figure out some shit from the other side that I don't think I'm supposed to know. Oh, shit. And I felt good about it. I felt like, Stay you know, secrets. The, the light bulb. Man, Dude, I the, light, the light bulb kept Man, I And I said, nigga, you slow, because look. You should have known this you, already. Hey, look, this, this add up perfectly. That's Stay how two secrets. or two may go. Nigga, learn this. So don't tell them. them. Don't tell them. So my daughter got her report card, like, I don't know, probably two, three weeks ago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Same day. She, she's she's... She be blowing her, her big brother up. She be it's fucked up. No. It's fucked up how she be putting him on blast. This fuck. Oh, so it's he his fault because he be doing this shit to her. Tell him keep teaching her how to do this shit. She gonna keep doing. So she taught her how to be ass. nice to you, guys. Javon, you have your report card. Man, all right, all right, <laughs> nigga, you know you got it. Don't even play. Like, no, they said it's gonna be like a week. Ago. Oh, okay. I heard it. I ain't respond. I ain't say nothing about it. Man, all right. That's what's up. I know I can look at your grades anytime. Yeah, any this shit don't lie now. Uh, yeah, yeah, this shit don't that's work right. no more. Yeah, I was, yeah. That's you can't fine. change it from an F to an A I ain't no said nothing then. about it for weeks. Said nothing about it. A little while before we was finna go leave last night. Go drop my mom. mom. Say, hey, hey, man, come here. Come here. I knew he, his sister wasn't around. She was in the tub. She, she watched a video playing with Barbie. Man, and nah, she, I ain't. She, she ain't in the mix right she now. She don't care what's yeah, going come, on come out here. Let me I like it real quick, y'all. <laughs> come here, sit down. Yeah, I Right here, I ain't in my head. Sit right there for a minute. Nigga, tap the seat. Just stand up. Yeah, God don't, don't sit down. Just ask him if he wants on the drink. <laughs> ask him. Have a seat. You thought you ain't thirsty or nothing? You? That's the that's the female version of we need to talk. Man, all that's, right. That's the same, yeah, I mean the male seat, version of the female we need to talk. You know what I'm saying? So, goddamn, I'm, come come here. So, uh, let me see them grades. Man, all since right. you ain't showing me no report card, I ain't it. He, he, he went off, went and got a laptop, got down, came back out there, trying to log in. Log in ain't working. Oh, log okay. in ain't working. Okay. Mm, interesting. Man, interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh Man, log in's right. not working out. But then that's when I told you he had fucked up the keyboard and turned it to German somehow. Okay. And we, okay. it took us a little second. We figured out. We figured out nigga got a German keyboard for a little bit. Oh, so now I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Not, I, try to, look, I try to give him graces, but I'm talking about my son. I'm, I gave him one no. now. I let him have the one. All right, it was an accident. It was a German oh, keyboard. Oh, no, God. Now he was sitting there typing it, and then I'm typing it, and then we both typing it. I feel like, like a know? nigga turned that bitch to German mm -hmm. on purpose. You might have been. Okay. I'm turning shit to German. Now I can't, now I can't Man, log okay, in. Okay, right. Know what hey, do. yeah. You're not going to be able to figure it out. It's they a smooth stupid. move. You know, do you know kids think that the adults do this nigga don't like, this nigga don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> he don't know I changed this shit. He don't be on my computer. Man, okay. Yeah, I let no. I'm letting him have it. I'm not even gonna put that one on. 
Because he don't even need that much weight. It's already over with. You see it with his report card in, though, nigga. Man, right. We're going to get to this, man, my boy. Okay. We're going to get it. Yeah, get it here. Give me German that Chromebook. Not, God Slide damn. that Chromebook across the lap tomorrow. Let me get this. Let me get the Chromebook. God damn. So I found out what's going on. Gave it on back to him. Yeah, sign in now. Sign man, in. What? He signed. <laughs> he signed in. This nigga signed into the laptop. He's sitting there. He, but we, we both on one couch pillow. This is how close we are. Okay, it's on a love seat, so it's not a it's a big bigger couch pillow, but still we both on we, one yeah, couch pillow. We yeah, close to each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can't hide yeah, shit he, from me, nigga. But he doing like this, man. <laughs> 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 Fuck out of here! Nah, I ain't changed it. I don't want you to know it. And I'm just acting like I don't see none of this. I'm acting like I'm just trying to watch the, the, the young well, thug okay. try. Goddamn! But the whole time I see him. In my peripheral right here, I see this nigga doing all this shit. I feel, I can feel your weight shifting on the. We on the man, same pillow, okay. nigga. Man, what? Right there. nigga then he sit back up and he stop and he look at me, and I say, like, "What you looking at me like that for?" He say, "Cause I'm cooked." <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure shit else out. I don't know what to do no more. <laughs> I don't know what the, the dog ate it. The dog ate it. It ain't my password. Is it? Because I'm cooked. Man, I'm okay. hey. Bruh. Oh my God. Hell that no. was an interesting moment. Um Man, we'll all back right. to another square one. We're gonna have to figure out how we get past it. We're gonna have to figure out the hopscotch this time. But yeah, that was I, but I realized after that. Oh, what happened is I went and made the trip, right? I don't know where it went, right, but fuck it. Okay, I'll get it. I, we made the trip, right? Made the trip, went to go do the drop off, all that shit. Goddamn. And I'm saying, I'm trying to be. <laughs> it's always bites me in the ass, bro, every fucking time. I try to be the adult and responsible <laughs> parent about mm -hmm. shit. It, it just be. slapped me right in the face. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, man, you know what I'm saying? We we had this talk already a couple weeks ago when that shit happened about you owning up to your shit. You did this. This your situation. Deal with it. Yada, yeah, yada. Right. So you you probably Major need to go and tell your mom man. sooner right. than later. I'm cooked right. again. That's fair. Right. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, it's out yeah. there now, too. Yeah, no. yeah. Mom already knows. No. Oh, okay. No. So uh, you just hiding shit? All right. Oh, uh, 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 nah. She's straight. Uh, not, not you. They. Oh, no. Don't oh, tell it. Oh, it's a they. Damn. Oh, yeah. I found all that. Man, damn. figured it all out real quick. I said, damn. Damn. See, that's why I just, I be trying to get niggas to benefit. Don't tell your there. daddy. Man. No, fuck that. Do better and tell your daddy. I said, oh, that's why the school counselor called me talking about a family meeting. Oh, shit. Yeah, because she want me to find out this nigga got bad grades. Damn. <laughs> I said, that's the crazy steps to take. Damn. It's fucked up. Here, the whole time, I'm trying to be a good good co-parent. Goddamn, just bow. Oh. That's fucked okay, up. Okay, y'all been planning. Fucking do better. Y'all been planning. All right. Fucking do better. No. I, I say I'm playing. I'm not. I don't care. That's some bullshit. Before. But I did figure some shit. I, and it made so much, because the whole time, I was thinking like this. That was the most random shit. I went up there. I went. It was like, bitch, you even call me and not see me. Hey, the man. <laughs> yeah, it was happening, guys. Yeah, it was like the man. Yeah. And we had a good little sit down and shit. What Show you said was going on? Show did have a good little sit down. Show did. That's wild as hell. Because I didn't even know that. But, but yeah, yeah, I figured some shit out. I said, damn, look at this, man. Quit, what, quit keeping what? secrets. You can't keep look. secrets about the kids if you co parenting, yeah, goddamn it. I'm going to find them out. That ain't I know how that some shit other ones work. I'm going to find them out. we going to find them out if you, if you care. That ain't yeah, how that oh, shit work. Find right it out. But yeah, I found it. He, he, yeah. He, he let it go. I said, damn, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Then he set me up and tried to make me make his sister feel better because he lost her invitation to her birthday party. Damn. He out he, here wild. I'm you, this nigga be putting me through it, bro. He she can't even it. go to the party <laughs> now? Oh, damn. He done lost her invitation. She gonna be high. Man, and she the only one from her class got invited. Damn. <laughs> she was gonna stun on the whole class when she got back. Nigga, y'all should have been there. It was elephants and cake and ice Man, cream. Right. And they had uh, fucking bluey sculptures. Man, all right. <laughs> nigga, bluey was juggling chainsaws, nigga. <laughs> they was all there. Where's Waldo? He was there, nigga. You know, I just had, I, my week consisted of a, a bunch of quick, intensive 
parenting learning moments. Man, all right. Which uh, I can appreciate for the the knowledge. But, uh, well, I hopefully I've, I've thought of a way that it will work, and hopefully their mom tried and it worked, and maybe. But I haven't talked to them since last night, so I don't know yet. This is going to be I'm going to hit them up later and see what, what's happening. I hope you made it to the party. Yeah. I'll yeah. be mad as hell. Yeah, I hope so, too. I hope so, too, because her and dude got they, they little thing going. What little you thing? Know, they kindergarten to love. I don't fuck with that at all. Yeah. Stay the fuck away from her. She ain't, she going to beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I guess that's kind of why I'm not as worried as I be in my mind. It's like, nigga, he, she keep talking about it. Hey, whatever, I was gonna punch the fuck Man, out of you. Okay. <laughs> she gonna kick you in your shit. And she gonna put you down. And she Man, gonna pummel you like you ain't. You worried about her? She, she gonna beat your ass, goddamn. <laughs> not the word I'm worried about. So, yeah, it, it, yeah. I had some parenting mom. and some of that. Just even that. Just her talking about the. Talking about a boyfriend and shit, and yeah, talking about um. he want her to be his girlfriend again, and he's been waiting for her to ask him. It's like nigga, what? Mm-mm. Oh wait, they first, they in first grade now. I could say kindergarten. Still, whatever. Mm-mm. But I can't be mad because like I was in preschool. I mean, you right, you can't, but you can fuck that. I don't know. You the daddy now? Yeah, I was. I fucked I was all with that. the teacher's daughter with my mm-hmm. girlfriend in preschool. Mm-hmm. Fuck that too. <laughs> fuck all that. You the daddy now? Fuck that little nigga. Can he fight? I'm not going to speak ill of this little man. No, I'm just talking shit. I'm not going to speak ill of him. It's so cute. Oh. Because he only got so much time. Because she going to beat his ass. Yeah, she is. She is. Yeah, that was my week. That was my, that was my dull, non-interesting boy. And we, what we going to get to? Let's talk about something. We might Somebody cut all that out. Somebody who did not have a boring week. Oh, God shit. damn it. Well, there's a few of them folks. Yeah, there's but one someone of these in particular. niggas. Yes, sir. Um... Dildos and baby oil. <laughs> Dildos Diddy. and boy, baby oil. Dildos and baby oil. Don't forget the lube. It was some lube there too, goddamn it. I know y'all done heard it. Y'all done seen it. P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Love, whatever the nigga name is. Yeah. yeah. It's back in jail. Arrested. This is the second time, ain't it? No. Nah. They arrested him before, didn't it? Did they? I thought, oh, when they raided his house? I don't think yeah, they arrested I thought them they then. arrested it. Maybe they did. I don't know. Arrested it. it. Yeah, arrested <laughs> it. it. Okay. Arrested it. They did. I, but either yeah. way, they came back. Did it 2.0. Dang. They got his ass. Yeah, so I saw, I saw the little headline, a clip or something on Instagram, wherever, Facebook, wherever the fuck I was at. News break. I don't fucking know. A uh, thousand bottles. A baby oil, right? Thousand bottles of baby oil. And what? Seven hundred lube with five hundred lube. How much lube with? One hundred pounds. One hundred pounds of lube. <laughs> what? <laughs> this nigga got barrels. <laughs> this nigga probably got lube by the fifty by a fifty gallon drum. <laughs> five hundred. I ever been a gallons in that bitch. Sixteen hundred ounces. Sixteen hundred ounces of lube. I don't. Okay, so that's not. They can't be. No. But either way, that's a this, sixteen a this, thousand. Six hundred ounces of lube. There's a lot of lube. <laughs> a thousand of these of lube. This is sixteen point nine usually bottle. These water bottles. A, a thousand. thousand of these yeah, full, full of lube. Full of lube. Okay, lube isn't. Is in, it looks like that. It's thick and heavy. <laughs> like <laughs> it might. How many pounds did I say it was? You said a hundred. There might have been a hundred pounds. That's a hundred pounds. It's six. <laughs> it's a thousand and six hundred ounces. Man, all so right. one of these times a hundred for that ass. No times a thousand. Nope. No a thousand times a hundred. Like times a hundred That's for funny. that ass. Do you have anything times a hundred? That's not money. How wheels. <laughs> I, I I knew the answer too fast. I think yeah. You do have yeah. You do have something times a hundred yeah. of hot wheels. That's about it though. Freaky ass nigga, he a hot wheels god. No, it ain't got to be freaky. You should have put something else right there. You, you should have put something else right there. <laughs> No, that's what title. Go together. That's what title. Uh, it's too late. The song's out. Uh, all platforms streaming right now. I'm gonna get this <laughs> shit. I'm gonna, it's a virus connected to it. <laughs> Damn. I don't think I have a hundred of no. Yeah, this I think this is it though, the hot wheels. Yeah. Okay. 
So, not a lubes, not a lubes. A hundred pounds of lube. That's wild as hell. Where would you keep a hundred pounds of lube? Oh, this nigga put up there. You know he got a dungeon. You're keeping all the lube in the dungeon? No, it got a pump. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, this shit in a, a barrel. Drainage, it's a reservoir. It's in a barrel. Oh, it's and a hundred pound barrel. It's wired through the house. And it did. <laughs> so where Go over there and get that pump. Go get no, that hose off the wall. You ain't got to do that. No it's, hose on the wall? Oh, it's a squirt Like thing. a hand sanitizer. Uh, like the automatic one. Okay, you more civil. I'm thinking he got like a hose, like nah, a fireman, and you pull it up built, off the wall. Nah, damn. <laughs> just lube <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> lube the Bend room. all three of y'all. <laughs> Shake and lube no, the I, room. And then you God. let it go, and it go back like the, like the, like the, like the tape. Like Man, the, okay. The measure of tape. Uh, okay, uh, it's, it's retractable. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't thinking that. It wasn't a retractable hose? I would not. Nah, I mean, I it, definitely saw a retractable Man, hose. okay. Like all on right. the trucks. Like you could maybe flip a switch, and it Reel it back up. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't see that. Oh, I okay. didn't see that. I wasn't no. thinking just a hundred pounds. You can't just go with a little squirt pump. Yeah, no, nah, this is lifetime of lube. No, this is just my. <laughs> <laughs> this is monthly lube supply. Lube truck. <laughs> <laughs> It was pull up here, but yeah, the, the KY truck here. You can't here. park there. The lube truck coming today. And we got the lube in. I mean, the, you can't park there because <laughs> watch yeah, out, okay. watch out a little bit. Johnson and Johnson, he just get the baby oil from the factory. God <laughs> Baby, you can't do this. This wholesale. Man, baby. what? <laughs> he ain't like he got a stove. <laughs> If you need a connection on any kind of thing, man, okay. I can get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lube right here. I got a whole barrel. Look at it though. Oh, man. man. That's wild. That's wild as fuck. Okay, so 100 pounds of lube and 1,000 bottles of baby oil. Baby oil. But I don't. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I seen some shit today. I saw pictures, but I don't know if those pictures were accurate. So I don't know what size the bottles of I baby feel like oil he, were. I feel like they, they got to be this big. They got to be three feet tall. They got to pump, too. <laughs> Everything got to pump. <laughs> bottle weighs 60 pounds. It do. <laughs> yeah, don't put the bottles on that shelf. It can't hold the weight. No, you not the shelf. It's a room. It's you the can't pump. put 1,000 bottles in the room on the floor? It's the pump room. Uh, <laughs> uh, I the little bit here. The pump. When's the last time you seen Diddy in the pump room? In the pump for the swimming pool here. Uh. <laughs> No, that's wild. I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, no, you can't comprehend this shit. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Even if they regular size, where the fuck you got a thousand bottles of baby oil in? Like, even over a year. Right? Even over a lifetime. What you mean a year? <laughs> a nigga forever. <laughs> a thousand <laughs> bottles of baby oil? Hell no. <laughs> Not a year in a forever. Don't be mad because you ain't fucking like Diddy. Fucking. Nah, fuck that. He out here fucking, fucking, or watching, fucking. I don't. Lots of folks it ain't fucking. that much fucking. And you know what? The more, the longer I've been on this show, the more I've learned how much everybody's fucking. Man. Everybody fucking. Like everybody is like man, doing a I lot of fucking. Diddy doing enough for know, everybody. Well, he's watching a lot of people do it. That's this the shit, thing. That's why I'm saying ridiculous. it. He's it just sitting him. next to yeah. him. <laughs> yes. That he's was a his thing. Is to watch. On one of That's what all these people coming out saying is that he wanted to watch a bunch of other people fucking and having things done to being fucked. I want to know what he did illegal. Because what, what I'm hearing well, can't he, be what he's done no, that's illegal. The, Owning this amount of lubrication they and liquid is not illegal. <laughs> they gotta be. No. It's what you do with it and how long you make people do said you things. You gotta be on a list. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should be on a list. Like when they, what they say, if you put ten thousand in the bank, they gonna call the FBI. Whatever, whatever the fuck they this say. Nigga spent ten thousand on baby oil. You got a thousand bottles of baby oil. If you if you've gotten that within a certain amount of time frame, somebody should come to I your. I feel door. like this one shipment. I feel like there's a shipment. But even if you break it up, like you can't, I'm saying, like, with the, if you got a thousand bottles within three years, then we need to ask some questions. Absolutely. We need somebody, SWAT got to, they got to Absolutely. come 27 deep, bust down the door and shit, break all your shit to see about the baby oil. Because why do you got all the baby oil? Because why you got all the baby oil? Why you got this? I don't understand why you got all the baby oil. I see the video and today. I did, what, some what niggas was, was playing basketball uh -oh. in the gym at Diddy House. 
Then he came into the room. This is a gym. Like, it's a gym. Yeah. This nigga, you know the beds at the hotel that fold into the wall? Yeah. This nigga poured two beds <laughs> out the wall <laughs> in the gym. Did he had his own lock-ins. <laughs> I see that now I wonder how many fucking hideaway beds he got- was in this nigga house. <laughs> Hello, hello, yeah, yeah. Y'all the folks that built the house. I said I wanted twenty eight. <laughs> How come I can only find twenty three? Man, okay. Somebody better get up here and put five more beds in my walls. The bitch like, is with, in the attic. <coughs> it's so many high the way the gym. beds in the gym. Nah, he was hosting lock ins. You know, the church it's, do the lock in, or like on the Arsenal, they would do the lock in. I don't know. In the gym, that way they would do the lock in. I don't at. think so. And everybody stay overnight. That's why they was apart. Cause it was like, so you got the basketball goal. I thought you were about to point to a bed up there. I was about to say, oh, that's fine now. (laughs) That bitch came out the ceiling. (laughs) But now, like, it was was evenly spaced, so there was only two on this wall of the whole gym. How wide were the beds? No, it it looked like regular king-size beds. What do you mean regular king-size? Like, not like. king-size don't come out the wall. That ain't regular. Yeah, but not like California, like rich nigga king-size. You got king size and then you got rich nigga king size. So go king, queen, rich nigga king? No, you got queen, king. Yeah, rich nigga king. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But the queen is bigger than the king, though, ain't it? No, the queen smaller than the king. It's something where the queen bigger than the king in it. I don't no. think so. No? Okay. Damn. That's but you said that like a king size bed is normal to come out of the wall. It's not, but no bed is normal to come no, out of the gym. But if wall. it was gonna come out the wall. It got to be a twin. You got to plop a little bed out. Not if you did it. I guess not. I feel like it been some fucking going on in the gym. Yo. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why niggas was playing basketball. Yo. How you... <laughs> I'm just saying. How you go to... <laughs> you done went to a vocational school and everything. You done learned to trade. And you in a fucking brick layout of a building with no ceiling on it yet. Building a bed into a wall. Not a. Yeah. Yeah, two I, of them. I know they Damn. all through this bitch. They got to be out. Th- if they in the gym, they everywhere. It's one in the kitchen. It's one in the kitchen. <laughs> Ain't enough wall in the kitchen. <laughs> I mean, it's a Diddy kitchen. It's enough wall in that bitch. Damn. It's one in Damn, the kitchen. Damn, Diddy. It ain't enough wall in our kitchen. <laughs> yeah, it ain't enough wall in my kitchen. Nigga, I can't cook the bed nowhere. down. It ain't, no, it ain't no wall <laughs> Okay, but yeah. A Diddy kitchen is, a, is enough wall okay. for it. All right, so I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to get here slowly. but All right, so... A hundred pounds of lube. Yep. Have you used lube before? You went and bought some lube? I've never went and bought some lube. (laughs) (laughs) I have never went and bought some lube. (laughs) I saw Freddie from the band talking about it. (laughs) He said, he said, yeah, I saw the story. I was like, a thousand, a thousand bottles of baby oil. That's a lot of baby oil. Like everybody in there just shining, just rubbing each other down. And he said, he said, oh, oh. Then I figured it out. Oh, oh, that's a lot of booty breaking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I what said, it's for. Yeah, that's what it's Fred. Fred. Yes, nigga, it's for the ass. But it's I feel like everybody's shining too. You know, they I got feel got like it's baby oil every fucking time. Because he got way. the hole, the retractable hole. For the <laughs> <wall>. <laughs> okay. Well, no, fuck. put the lube on back and bring the baby, the red one for the baby oil. If that's what we're doing, just put this shit in the sprinkler system in the ceiling. Run them outside? Just, just oh, put, in the ceiling. Just put oh. that shit in the sprinkler system. No, nah, you don't got you don't got the control. Yeah, no, you, you don't want you want somebody that had the control. That was did his thing is you want control over the I figured this Tell shit, him do this, do this. Do rain this. baby oil. Nah, if it just come like on and did the video, what? How they used to rain sparks, nigga, you rain baby oil? And that nigga got on a shiny suit that's slippery as fuck now, god damn it. <laughs> take that, take that. No, the booty. <laughs> Everybody slipping off each other. Man, they can't even boy. fuck. It don't even matter, did he? They can't even fuck. Everybody just laying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get up like... Man, <laughs> that nigga got baseball proof shoes. <laughs> he got, oh, he got the slip resistance. <laughs> That nigga got the Wendy's Kitchen Crew shoes on. You got them shits I had without working a check. You got to order these out the black. The black is with the Velcro. You 
got OEDs out the work magazine. You can't get it. <laughs> Let us know what your size is. Man, okay. <laughs> Everybody else Damn. on the floor. It's fucked up. <laughs> all right, so on top of all that, what happened with the dildos? Oh, yeah, nah, it was Did like- Did it say 784 <laughs> dildos? <laughs> do I remember the number correctly? Because I'm not happy that I do. It's 700 seems I didn't even, right. I didn't even something. read the article. <laughs> I didn't even read it. It's but I'm, I will put my life on it <laughs> that it said enough. 784 dildos. Enough Maybe I'll be dead. Maybe I won't, but I'm pretty sure it said 784. Yeah, 700 dildos. sounds about what I what I heard. Seven something. I don't remember the other ones, but I remember 700 plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where do you keep 784 dildos? <laughs> I bet it's. I'm telling you, it's a room for all this. Shit. Are they color coded? Man, okay. I, are they size coded? Like what is all this what shit? Is your you know, it's somebody. It's somebody that they get paid. How do you to sanitize keep the my? He got another hose. He got the sanitizer hose. All right. He all, all the right. dildos gets that. Put put them all up and then come spray them down. I feel like it got to be a factory there and somewhere. Make a dildos a baby boy. I didn't think today I'd be thinking about seven hundred dildos. And now I'm really sitting here thinking of how he would have all these dildos displayed so he could spray them down and sanitize them all at once. It's shells. No, I know at once. Like there's somebody who get paid. No, he got a retractable hose. There's somebody who get paid to this this is the dildo girl. She washes dildos. This is what she does. Don't use that side of the room. She was sick. She didn't get finished that day. So she, she hasn't sanitized those. But over here, yeah, yeah. over over here, you got it. It can't be one room. Can you put seven hundred eighty four dildos in one room? It's, you got to think it's a dead size. Is this room, room big enough? I guess. I don't want to picture this room. I'm sorry. For I think it's big enough for seven hundred eighty four dildos. It is. Yeah. It is. Multiple shelves on the wall. Okay, Air Roy style. Oh wow. Okay, Air Roy. Oh no! I don't know if I ever look at the room the same again. I didn't, oh no! Yeah. Why? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> because oh. did it, did it. Damn. Okay, arrows now. Yo. Don has come out from a, uh, um, Danity Kane. Uh, if people don't know, there was a there. Was, Danity Kane was a group that I, came after the band. A girl the group. He had a girl song? group. Danity Kane. He had a guy group. Day Twenty Six. I don't remember the name of none Man, of this song. song they had. They that had motherf- a little bit of good music. One of them, the, the biggest song they had. That motherfucker slept so fucking hard. Yeah, because Diddy had them producers. He had videos of the producers using some of that baby oil, <laughs> okay. and so it bitch make the beat beat. Or oh, do you know what's that up? That shit was webby. Man, I used to ride around playing the fucking Danny the Kane song, the beat all the way up. Niggas can't hear the song, it don't matter. I don't know. I like to hear all this shit. Yeah, I ain't yeah, never. Um, so there was there was a white chick named Aubrey that has been for a long time Drake? vocal about. That's why I said white chick. You, but close. Drake, close, <laughs> <It was> close, <laughs> <It was> close. <laughs> Drake. <Fuck them. laughs> <laughs> um, she's been vocal about not liking Diddy, not being happy about how things went, and how fucked up he is, and how should nobody be fucking with him, and everybody should be against him right now. And okay. she's been doing that for a long time before the Cassie shit. Like it's been a while. Um, when the Cassie know. shit happened, no, you know what happened. Remember when they was like, "Oh, Diddy giving everybody they publishing back and shit." Yeah, I remember that. She came out and was like. Y'all don't sign whatever the fuck he got written up. <laughs> okay. This is Diddy we talking about. Do not fucking sign this shit. I'm trying to tell y'all. Please listen to me. But don't you think can't I'm say bitter. nothing about don't what he this. did to your booty. Yeah, that, that's what. That's literally what it was. It came with an NDA. If you no, to get your man, back, okay. It came with an NDA. Yeah. Look it up. Yeah. Man, so, uh, so recently, Don, who was one of the black girls that a lot of people knew from that group. Um, has come out and talked about a lot of fucked up sh- experiences she had, and then some random person sent a bunch of texts that were bad experiences she had. Um, Damn, Gene Deal has still been talking about all the craziness. Who, if you see him online, he he used to be a bodyguard. Uh, that nigga. Then know everything. Uh, now, uh, choke no joke. Who is somebody that? Excuse me. He worked like he with Rockefeller. And within the music industry for a long time, back when everything first got started and shit, and he know about a lot of Puffy stuff, but everyone I've seen talk about Puffy recently, interestingly enough, has 
made it a fact or made it a point to state something about him being abused as a child or in his younger years and well possibly being abused when he was younger Man, and no. hold on hold on cuz i know and the way that he got the power was the from doing from having the stuff that he's doing to people done to him and that's how he learned to get the power and control people and this is the way that i thought was put very well was he's the person that can go talk to the street niggas because he's not scared of them but can also talk to the corporate niggas and he can and he figured out from the shit the corporate niggas made him do that he can do this too to perpetuate the cycle and get the power over the street niggas that he really probably scared of but they see him as another nigga so it ain't the same as if they was talking to a white dude i guess it makes sense but fuck yeah that. i thought it was an interesting little no. tidbit nigga don't be gay for a contract nigga gay for pay don't if you that go, they, that's mm, what the male models were saying in the male, and shit gay for pay back. yeah this wild you can lick my armpit if you pay me <laughs> <laughs> nigga no you can't <laughs> you can. That's what they were doing. How doing. much would it take? I don't remember how much they were doing. I remember it didn't you. make it. How much would it take for I'm you not to doing let it. a nigga lick your arm? No. Wait. If a nigga had $1 billion cash. And he just want to lick my arm. He just want to lick your arm. Come on with it. What's the Come minimum? On. You do it for $100,000? I just said it. I'm not speaking on anything less. We already stated a price, and that price shall stand one billion dollars. Lick a pit. You can come and lick my pit for a billion to left or right. I don't care. That's why I was saying. Hey, what's your price? I don't know. A billion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we at, God damn it. See? See? All right. I'm glad you didn't say 1.1. 1. 1. You, you didn't uh. have your shit on me. <laughs> no, man. Just a little bit more. Just hey, a little man, bit more. Not a cheap nigga's price. Man, yeah. <laughs> you can lick that nigga all a bit for a bit. I don't know who the fuck you think I'm in. I don't even think you looking at right now, nigga. Man, Do you see this armpit thing? Man, okay. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Nah, you got a billy. You're licking my armpit. That's what's up. I give no fuck to what nobody got to say about that. Man, okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care at all. Somebody might have a billion. We got a. How much she supposed to be making? God damn it. Three hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollars. But I'm on my numbers today. Each episode. I'm on my numbers today. Well, all right. Boy, that is the right number. That is the right number. Quinta Brunson. Let me get the claps. Hey, shout out to my favorite show. Your favorite show too, yeah. ain't? Shout out to our favorite show. Yeah, God it damn might, it. it might be. I mean, when Rick and Morty ain't on, it's right there. I. It's my favorite show. Abbott Elementary. Abbott Elementary. I, that'd be my favorite human show. Okay, then. Live human right. show. How about I that? I fuck with Rick and Morty, but I Fair fuck enough. with Abbott. Yeah. No, nah, Abbott never said I've never, four. I've never watched an episode of Abbott Elementary and felt like I wasted time. Never felt like, uh, I could have done without that. That you shit made me pay like, attention never, to the TV, guys. Yeah, <laughs> like I want to see each little moment. I hear it. Man, when dude bought the, the air vape. The air vape? The, the, the gay teacher, the white dude. I want to say Jonathan, and that's not his I name. I don't know why I want to call him Jonathan. Yeah, I don't even look like a Jonathan. I don't, I don't like remember the air vape. Uh, yeah, he he was trying to stop smoking or something because his boyfriend didn't like him smoking. Remember he had the big black dude that was his I boyfriend. do remember the Do I remember <laughs> the air vape? I think it's half for me in that. <laughs> and they kept telling him he getting scammed, and he finally got it in the mail. And it was like the end of the episode when he opened it up, and then he smoked it. And he was like, it is just, oh, they fucking got And then he hit it again and was like, no, I kind of like that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Now you air vaping, goddamn it. <laughs> right. Yeah, now nah, that show's amazing. Yeah. Shout out Quinta Brunson. Um, I didn't know of her, you know, we've talked about it a couple times, but I, I didn't know of her before Abbott Elementary, before yeah, no. my sister kept telling me, you got to watch this show, you got to watch this show. Me neither. And I'm not one for the type of comedy or the type of sitcoms where they show you that they know the camera's there. Yeah. And I, I thought, ain't usually kidding now, but they do this. Yeah, yeah, no, they do that. But I thought well, that's yeah. one of the things I liked a lot about it was the spin they put on it was that the reason these cameras are here is because they're doing a documentary yeah. about the school. Yeah. It's not like this is the show yeah. and we're acting like, like we're the behind movie. the scenes too yeah. in the show or whatever. So I like, like I think how is it Larry David? I think that's kind of I think that's the, the old white like, dude. I think that's how it showed, like with the cameras. Curb your enthusiasm. Yes, yeah, shit like that. Yes, that type of shit. I heard, or the they show, office. It's shit like they, that. They curb your enthusiasm like all fucking, what's they call it? 
when you just make up the shit on the spot. Improv. Improv. I think it's a lot of it. I don't know if it's all, but I'm not sure. I, heard I never really somewhere. watched it. Drink but I think the office is like that shit. too. Like where they the shows where they're always looking at the camera halfway through some shit. Cause it'd be funny and it works, but you never it's never been a concept that I saw or understood that this is why the cameras are here in the first place. Why I could turn to you and look at you in the middle this, of this my a day. Documentary, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I like that a lot about the show. It settles something in my snow my OCD part shit. of my mind. Goddamn, like you see snow on the bluff. I don't believe so. No, they found yeah. a video That's camera and made a hood movie. No, I mean what the point was like. We found a camera. Let's go video shit we do in the hood. No, I ain't never heard of it. Yeah, is this like a hood movie? Yeah, like no limit kind of hood movie, like. <laughs> if I mean, no, nah, I mean, if I think if, if I if you ask Take me, it, it might be a little bit more bigger than a No Limit movie. I mean, quality wise, looking at the like the visual. Oh no, they use the camera. Okay, oh, all right, yeah. all right. Oh, yes, okay. All right. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Yes, that's what I was trying to. They ask. used the camera. They probably would have been the best stole way to pose nigga. that question. Um, that I same I, camera quality. I guess so. I yeah, don't I don't know though. No Limit them had shit at the time. Shit. Them movies was clear as a bitch. State probably Cash was Cash money too. too. State yeah, it was, I mean, too. if you go back and watch it nah, now. No, man, it, well, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I saw yeah, it way Yeah, if you after. go back and watch it now, then it's like, yeah. But I at the time, because that, that's what I expected for real. Like, this going to be, no, nah, she. But, okay, per episode. Would she be having eight, ten episodes? Eight episodes? I don't know. Let's say eight. Shit. It's a pocket watch. Man, what? It's pocket watch. Okay, Winter. then. All right, then. No, put it on, put it on the 400. Uh-uh. She making 400. 375. At least. Okay, at least. At least 2.8 million. All right. I ain't mad at that. Get your money, Possibly 3.2 million. This, I like that one, too. $5 million. What? One, two, three. No, $4 million difference. Hell. Four million over one episode. Oh, see now, see now, now there's see there's where the that's where shit start getting. See, we we ain't got hundreds of thousands coming in for for a week or a month of work at the moment. So you know that sounds amazing. But if I'm thinking and listening and reading correctly, over my time that I'm delivering these eight episodes. Are you telling me that there's a potential for a four million dollar difference? Four million dollar difference. But hell, they worked it no. out in their contract. I don't know no. how it worked. No, 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 no. Because either maybe, way, maybe either this. way, the to- the better total still doesn't total four million. Maybe, maybe it's so. You this. can't short me out of four million. I'm not like I now. I feel away. Maybe it's like this though. Maybe they figured out how much it was per episode. Maybe it's you getting paid this much for next season. And next season could be eight episodes, or next season could be nine or ten episodes. Okay. But either way, you on salary for next season. We just don't know. It could be eight, nine, or ten. Yeah, because so. they didn't give a final price. They just said it could be this so, much for each. So, yeah. So, that, that, right. this mm-hmm. seemed like it's more plausible that everybody uh-huh. agreed to it. But she had to agree to this shit, too. Yeah. And no, she, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, am I, congratulations, Quentin. I ain't it mine. Let me get some shit. shit. That's what's up. And I'm glad it's coming back. I really, really like that show. Hey, yeah, I've been, I'm, every I'm time I go to it. With it yeah, I'm man, excited what, when the like, new episode oh, comes out. Still. I don't want to do nothing else for that 30 minutes. I don't even, you know how you fix you some food and want to find something to watch to sit, to watch no, while no, you eat? No, I'm finna just watch this Yeah, shit. no, I'm yeah. just finna, I'm just, I just want to watch this shit. Man, what, the food, the God. food God. might stay in there, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, all right, fuck I had to warm this shit up again. Yeah, yeah, I don't even want to, yeah, I just want to watch this shit. I can't get up to go get it. I really fucking, I fuck with Ivan Elementary. Shout out my sister Handler. I ain't no man, shout out your sister. I just found that bitch, I seen a billboard. In Atlanta. Word. I see the billboard in okay, Atlanta. Shout out billboard. advertising working. I was like, shit, I'm going to watch this shit. The fuck is a Brit Brit? A what? A Brit Brit. Brittany Reiner. Oh. Brit Renner? Oh. How you say it? Sure. Man, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it said Brittany Reiner. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Reiner. Brittany Brit Brit. Yeah, what Brit Brit, Brit do? No, Brit. <laughs> no, Brittany Reiner. <laughs> I don't know if a Brittany Renner, is that her name? Sure. Ain't it R E E N E R or some shit? Sure. What she do? What she do? Uh the last I saw, this young lady, um it... Oh, so first off, this this the bitch 
Chicha. Yeah, see, that's what I just did. <laughs> I just did the same thing. You just did what I just did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. All right. Bitch, you to be a hoe, right? <laughs> okay, right. Bitch, you to be a hoe running around doing crazy shit, get online, talk all kind of shit. Uh, uh, in my, uh, 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 with celebrities all that shit. And shit. Yeah, so fucking all the niggas and all the bitches know. Hoe. All that shit. Yeah, she was getting her pockets filled. She get on some show. I don't know if she was on Bad Girls Club, but she, she got that kind shows, of energy. Yeah. So that type of shit. And then, goddamn, one day she popped up online in a hijab. In a who? What you call the thing? I think that's it. Um, that's, a jean, I don't think hijab. I said it. Yeah, right at all. But she, she, she popped up in headgear that represents a certain uh headgear. Yeah, it's gear. For your head. No, that sounds like you playing a head lacrosse. Cover. Okay, not hair gear. She showed up in a head cover. You is boxing. It, but it's not like, just a head cover. It's I like think so. Go around everything. Head wrap. A head wrap. I don't I, see, know. I feel like that's we, worse than We're going to get racist soon. <laughs> she decided that it was time for her to find a good religion that she liked, and it was being a Muslim person, and that requires her to wear certain garments. And she popped up online wearing said garments and letting people know that she don't know how she's going to do this new transition and still get the money from the people that she guaranteed performance from or appearances from before she made this decision. So Mm -mm. she signed contracts or made agreements or deals with companies or or brands or whatever. Like, I'm going to do this. I'll show up here. I'll wear these booty shorts. I'll twerk here. I'll do a walk through. Whatever she Mm -hmm. agreed to, she said, I'm going to do this. Then before she did all the stuff she was supposed to do, she was like, hey, you know what? Wrap it up, mm-hmm. top to bottom. I'm doing. changing everything. And then doing. she was like, I don't know how I'm doing both, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling y'all don't tell nobody. So then now, <laughs> like three, four months later, she done popped back online talking about I'm broke. Mm-mm. My religion's not supporting me. Mm-mm. And I don't know how I'm going to survive. You're going to get a job. Where do you think she should work at? I don't know. I don't know. But it can't be a strip club. <laughs> Not in that well. Usually, time you she you, could do something new. I don't know though. I don't know how your religion gonna feel about that. I'm saying if I'm yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're trying to do that, you change your life now. You got to get a real job. Do they work? Who Muslims? Uh, women. <laughs> what? Women? <laughs> I don't know how this stuff goes. Well, I guess Muslim women. I, I, I walked in this one dude house and he so. told his wife to like he's. Shunned her out the room. No. And it was all kind of curtains. I think what happened is she might not have had her face covered, her hair covered. Hell. I think her hair might have been out or something behind or whatever was going on. Hell. Because they were supposed to be leaving the house, but he told me to come in. And he said, I'll give something, something, something. And he said, and I was like, oh, shit. Just get on, man. You should have done it or you should do it. I don't know which one, bitch. I guess traditionally, maybe they don't. I don't know enough to say for real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, that's what I mean, like, I, don't, I just don't know if that's what like I, I guess you need to be trying to find you a, a husband. husband. Right? <laughs> You're supposed to if be that's someone. The case, yeah. I'm it, trying to think of when I saw the uh, Godfather of Harlem. Did Malcolm X's wife in the in the show work? I feel like maybe if you're not married, a Muslim woman got to go to work. Shit. If you ain't married, have you ever seen someone at what? I, I have never like seen have. someone at work with a a job. A G. I I don't know the word, but I've never seen someone at work with one on with a job. <laughs> Man, okay, I ain't never seen somebody at work with a job. I don't make no goddamn sense. Oh my god, this video's gonna get banned. Man, all right. I told you we can't we can't do it too many times. We can't do it too many times. We don't mean no harm. We don't mean no harm. And this shit uh, is for entertainment. No, purposes I think I, I I'm, I've had to. I've had to, right? I mean, you would think so, because I thought about it. I tried to recall, but I can't recall a single time. I do not recall. I don't recall. Oh my god, this trial. No. Oh man. No. All right, but yeah, but so old girl ain't feeling. She ain't getting Quentin money. She ain't doing. She ain't getting that money on. Yeah, you no, know what I'm saying. She ain't getting no more money on. If you got money for selling pussy, and you decide you not selling pussy, you should have. What the fuck a did plan? you think was gonna happen, goddamn? So I'm saying, like, what is? I don't know. Like, I don't know for real. Like I say, I don't know if they work. I don't know if it's okay to just sell your toes. Like maybe she keep her head covered to uncover her toes. I feel like you can't be selling shit for real. What if she cover everything and take a picture and sell it? No? I don't know how that works, but I, f- I feel someone's like... someone's going to pay for it. I, you see that clip going on the internet where the woman was selling all her farts? 
I did not see that clip on the internet. And the dude, I, I, the, the folk asked her like, "What, like, what kind of?" Because she had like a OnlyFans and shit, and she was saying like, the dudes. She didn't realize how many dudes want so much ass stuff happening. I, I was learning a lot from this little. Okay. Clip. So, she like was to say, them? Well, no, she. They want to see ass. They want to see. They like a big ass. ass. She dudes that like asses. Did what she said. Dudes that like asses like farts. And I was taken aback because I don't fall in that category. <laughs> I don't think that's was, true. <laughs> right. So I was like, well, let me see. I'm someone, like, when I find a new conspiracy, this isn't a conspiracy, but I'm the type of person that when I find a new conspiracy, the next thing I do is look up everybody that don't research. Agree. Okay. No, I'm going for the full out opposite. Who, who Somebody disagree. who's like, yeah, well, who said this nigga dumb? This bitch crazy. Like, yeah, like, Man, I want right. like, I go straight to that. So I'm here to, I'll hear it out. I hear what you got to say. I'm fine listening to both sides. So, all right, bitch, let's hear. It. So she say that most of some of her most uh, some of her best income come from her fart videos, and dudes be asking her to send them farts. And dude was like, "What kind of farts?" And she was like, "Like the ones that make a bunch of noise, like sound like Chewbacca." And just put it in a jar. I don't know, just a sound bite of it. I don't know. Oh, she, just send her the Yeah, OnlyFans. Niggas is paying for fart time. I OnlyFans. thought like she was farting no. in a jar and belly it to I mean, they say they say they be selling you pussy on um, uh panties online. I'm saying, pussy how tube. you say it was? <laughs> they sell pussy too, but you bought the pussy. I want the new one. You might not want the new one either, but I don't you know how you use it. I don't, I don't want the online either. pussy. I'm sorry. No. But panties, they were saying they be using like Oh yeah, like, I've heard I've been heard hearing about that for a while. Yeah, like they be like, feet pictures. Like niggas want to see bitches put their feet Japan, in the pants. There's a fucking vending machine. With panties? That sells used panties. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Oh, I'd hate to stock that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, you remember, I don't know if you remember growing oh. up. My mom used to get the little panty holes in like a little ball. Yeah, the little plastic the little, thing. Yeah, That's how the panties come. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I can stop that. I can stop. How, oh, I hate to package that. Who got a package? Yeah, damn. I feel like you get a package in the way of a panties they is. You package these bitches at home or the panty fact, whatever the fuck y'all. Okay, yeah. so she got farts. She got panties. These are things she can do still stay covered and still stay Muslim, right? I don't think so. No? I definitely not the panties. I know you can't be selling your trousers on <laughs> Use Muslim petties. And you can't be selling fart MP3s. Neither. Why not? You could fart through your whole dress thing. I'm standing unladen like as fuck, I'm sure. You do it in the bathroom in my don't know. Yeah, but no. Gotta get that money on. No, not like that. What if they don't let you work, what you gonna do? I'm I feel like I don't what know. What you gonna do? When you son is at home crying all alone and you hungry. She should have still been selling pussy. <laughs> <laughs> you should have stick to what you know. That's is what that not about. what's finna happen? You can see the progression. Right now, she like, damn. You know his niggas in her inbox right now. Like, bitch, I know you need goddamn. You know what she you know what she remind me of her? Like, some of the times I try to stop smoking weed. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, I'd be like four, blood. five days in and be like, oh. Like, I just didn't, I thought it, but I ain't eating nothing. Man, I ain't, I, I, ain't, I can't sleep go to good. sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one time, maybe one time. You know it's a nigga in our inbox, like, you know you need these 40,000 right now. You know you do. All of a sudden, everyone I know want to smoke blunts with man, me for free. Okay. Nobody want to match. They just want to come smoke you with me You want to <laughs> Hey, Dr. You in three months, you wanted to come smoke with me? Man, all right. Yeah, that what she looked like right now. What she, you know what what's she, for that? You gonna hit that blood? You gonna hit that blood? Goddamn, it smell good. <laughs> you where you get that from? Man, like it matters. I, I like it matters, nigga. It don't I matter where you got it man, from. Nigga, you got to hit that blood, nigga. Something to get the gas station. <laughs> that's like he's about to get. A, that's like you about to get a check. You be like, what? What's the serial number on the bill? <laughs> <laughs> Give me all the information on the shit that I don't want and all to deal with. <laughs> I'm just what, curious where about it. Where was this meant to that? Man, where, <laughs> what, do we have an expiration date or is it good forever? Is it good forever? Is this, does this bill have an F or an E oh, on man, it? Where, where, what, what are we doing? I just want to know real quick before I make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you got inside? Oh, Let me get that blood, goddamn. Oh, babe. Yeah. Oh. She finna be back selling pussy. <laughs> she finna be back selling pussy. 
Hey, it's her prerogative. It is, hey, absolutely. That's what we need is the Bobby Brown drop. Man, we got to get. Oh, all right. That's all right, another. All right. We'll get it. Because we don't got. We've we been supposed to have new drops. We have. These drops ain't supposed we to be have. drops. We have. Not. Well, we do got them. They, in, they over there. They in over there. there. They in there. Yeah. In the brain over there. Yeah. They Damn. is. We're going to get them out of there. One we day. will. We will. In the meantime, in between time. Right now. Oh. You want to kill yourself with somebody else? You it's a double it. suicide pod. It's a what? double shit. It is exactly what the <laughs> fuck it sounds. Do you pick who go first? How does that work? No, nope, you both. So it's a pod. It's like obviously. a carnival. It's like the ride, the slingshot you, ride. You when lay you on the camera. You lay down and one in of them there. fall asleep. Head, and then the head, other one. <laughs> head to feet. The other one look over there and be laughing at the dead Man, nigga. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but you getting sleepy too. You getting sleepy too. <laughs> So where is, I think it's Oregon. There's a couple. Like, they 80 something years old. The okay. wife had, is right. some time, I'm pretty sure it's some kind of terminal cancer. Okay. Like, she finna die. And he's like, yeah, I couldn't imagine living without, that we've been married like 40, Can't 50 years. You. So, um, okay. there's this company that offers suicide pods. Oh, man. You could got them lay down in this pod, head to feet. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She gonna lay over there. <laughs> the little glass My last bubble. vision is gonna be somebody toes. No, y'all, I mean, it's, it's like a little angle a little bit. So y'all almost faces like, yeah. Let me look up these suicide bodies, how much it costs anyway. <laughs> we do need a price. We Anybody want to die price. with me when we go? Man, okay. <laughs> Let me just see. I know. I feel like this. they got singles too. I feel like they got singles. I feel like you get a deal on the double. double yeah, you probably you get the same price for the double. <laughs> Single double, same price. <laughs> Let me go to shopping. So yeah, the little glass cover it come over you. Um, they pump the little a little gas in there. It make you sleepy. Um, and yeah, you get up out of there. So you just get into a tiny gas chamber with your buddy. You get into a tiny gas chamber with your buddy. Did they say a price? Did I didn't a- see a price. Let me see if I can find a price. But yeah, what a way to go. Help. Double suicide Help network. <laughs> Don't, no. Oh, you finna be, oh, you finna be on all kind of lists. You finna be on all kind of lists. <laughs> oh, yeah. You fucking up. It just said that. You it's, fucking yeah. up. Help network of Northeast Ohio. Yeah. Because you just Googled it right there. They trying to help you. You don't need to find the suicide pod. You need to find some help. No, I think they got to connect on the suicide pod. Man, okay. I think they know what's happening. Oh, this is a British couple. This is a British couple. Oh, okay. This is in the U.S. Oh, yeah, it's right there on the the next one. Yeah, (laughs) okay. Yeah, now, right after you read this, to tell you why you shouldn't do this shit. Oh, man. Yeah. Man. Signing up to use the pod. I just want to see how much suicide pod costs. I can't see a price. Suicide is a suicide. You can sign up, though. Oh, you got to be on a waiting list to kill yourself? You can send them your email and shit. That's whack. I don't think I'm going to send them my email. That's whack. I feel like this is going to be the next death penalty. Like, where they get them out of here? Nah. No? They just did. They just killed somebody in, uh, Yeah. was it Michigan? No, I think it was Virginia or some shit. I don't think it was Virginia. Maybe Wherever not. it was, it's the first time in 13 years Hell. that they've used the death penalty or executed someone, I should say. Um, they said not everybody else on death row scared. Well, yeah, that would scare you. Yeah, it would. Scare you a little bit. Ain't nobody been dying for years, and now somebody just died. And then it was fucked up. They said the, the motherfucker who just got executed, they said... um. The motherfucker only the only evidence they had against him was a motherfucker who said he was with me when I did it. Two weeks ago, the motherfucker who said that said he was not with me when I did it. And I made that shit up. See? Yeah. See? That's fucked up. And the governor knew that shit, but still went through with it. Oh, damn. Yeah. Like he came out and made a public state. Like everybody knew. Oh, so he just decided that he was lying on the second time and not the first time. Yeah. That's yeah. fucked up, Governor. You a whole ass nigga, you governor. A whole you whole ass nigga for this shit right there. Little bitch. 
Put the governor in suicide. I don't part. know none of these sound effects work this episode. Man, okay. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what can, moment you push your buttons, guys? Yep, we're we'll trying. We'll go through the motions, guys. We'll go through the motions. Burn. I'm going to y'all not start doing it my damn self. <laughs> <self-do. laughs> Man, what? Jesus, Let's I'm make another gonna, track, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to, yeah. I would have said, burn, 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 right there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go dub this shit in. Man. <laughs> Um, I do you have you ever sometime have you ever love some I, 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 I know the words man I okay well I, 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 I put that all up there that well, I my, seen uh, a picture of Brandon the other day with the see through dress with the <laughs> Brandy and Maya damn Ray J sister Brandy and Maya when I was growing up listening it to her, she ain't, no, I ain't, I ain't, no fucks about her. She got on my fucking nerves. I still don't really care for her music. That yeah, way. but now, she, she and she I. She ain't ain't tell me, bitch. Man, okay. From that angle. <laughs> I hate it. Head down, pop that, pop that. Fuck push, the head in the Moesha, goddamn it. Man. And my, my, I don't know how my. What? Yeah, my still my, bad as hell. Jesus, Jesus. I seen some Shit. interviews. Yeah. yeah. All right, Maya. Um, what was you finna say? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so have you have you ever done karaoke in in your life? Yep. Like you had a machine at the house. No. Nope. But like you was at a bar. Yep. Stop playing. Okay. A one time. Wait, hold on. Don't say nothing else. Okay. Don't then. say nothing else. Yeah. Um. You finna guess the song? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can get there. You'll never get it. I know it. But I still want to think of what I hear Kato doing. Okay, then. Uh, I know you ain't going to get it because you ain't let me say nothing else. What song is Holly If You Hear Me? What? Holly If You Hear Me? Tupac. Is that a Tupac That's song? That's a Tupac song. You didn't do a Tupac song. That's not what I'm thinking of. Uh, what song did right. I do I here to carry? You got to guess one at least. I give up. No, you I You got to try. We did all this to, I give for up. you to guess. Did y'all guess it? One I song. I I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you a clue. All right. All right. I was trying to impress a bitch, so I did it with a bitch. She dared me to do it. We can't be friends. <laughs> what is it? What? What? They don't even sound like the right one. Y'all see him singing "We Can't Be Friends." <laughs> Who do? I don't even know this song. I don't know this song. I didn't sing. I rapped. It's Deborah Cox and uh, Donnell Jones. Okay, I rapped or RL. My bad. I rapped and she sung. Um, it was a song with Maya in it. It wasn't a song with Maya in it. Damn. You didn't do no old dirty bastard song. I did not do an old dirty <laughs> bastard song. I don't know, man. I don't Me know. Me and Mariah. I sang. What, what song was it? Jaru and the Shanti. Oh my fucking god! Jaru Kay. and the Shanti. Oh my god! I'm not, I'm oh my god! You. Uh, yeah, I ain't picked the song. Nasty. I told you I was in trying. I was trying to impress a motherfucker. Ew. I did not pick the song, but fuck it. Ew, boo. We killed that bitch anyway. <laughs> I was the best fan Ja Rule ever, be right nigga. Man, if we thug, he's a lady. Man, I right. <laughs> be right up say that. yeah. <laughs> shit, I right. On the rainy day. Man, all right. All this shit, all this shit. I was, I was, yeah, I was the best fan Ja Rule ever. Hey, you punch that fat ass? All right. Oh, yeah, every thug, he's a lady. That bitch was my Shante that night, goddamn. Shit. Shit. All right. Wait, what song y'all did? It was goddamn Jaru and the shot. I think it was always on time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, always on time. Could she sing? No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. Did, have you ever been to this place before? I had never been there. None of this shit. So tell me how this happens. How do you? How does someone get Kato to karaoke? Shit. First, I ain't. I think this is my first time going to a bar. Went to the bar. I'm in that bitch. I don't drink right. I don't drink. Like, what the fuck? We, yeah, we just in here, but then this bitch flirting with me and shit, and she drinking and shit. And she's like, I'm going to go do Carrie. I'm like, bitch, I bet you won't go do it. Damn, I'm going to go do it, bitch. I bet you won't go do it. Go do it, bitch. I'm going to laugh, bitch. I'm going to be So okay. you knew it was karaoke night when you went? No, oh. I, absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. It just not. happened while it y'all were there. It just happened to be karaoke like, I'm going to go do this shit. Hell. And then she, the bitch was like, come do it with me. Like, bitch, I ain't doing it. 
Like, you can do it. Come on, do it with me. Like, bitch, I ain't gonna go do it. And sooner or later, the bitch talked me into it and shit. She rubbing on my legs. She like, come do it. Like, bitch, all right, let's do it. <laughs> all right. How many <laughs> drinks in okay. were you? And I ain't drank none. Oh, you ain't, she didn't even I, have to get you drunk? I ain't drink it. I ain't even drink it at the she time. She didn't have to get you drunk. The fir- I told you the first time I had a drink at a bar was with you. <laughs> you remember that shit? Yeah, now, that was the first time I had a drink I at a bar. I don't think that even counts. But, okay. But yeah. No, nah, I ain't drink shit. I was trying to get some Did pussy. Did you go to any bar? You said you got some. You went to some bars in Louisiana to get a drink. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you just go in there and get your goddamn drink, the little daiquiri and shit, and you come up out. Yeah, now we got to do some white people bar hopping one day. I ain't never done it. I have. I did on my twenty first birthday. With my we sister. can do it though. Fuck in, it. In Ann Arbor, uh, you get free drinks on your birthday. Okay, then. So you just go to each bar, show your ID. Fuck it, then we out here. I feel like they might do that shit in most bars, hell. Yeah, I had never heard of it. I, I know they did it there. You Man, wait. We can do it. Fuck it. So, so, okay, she didn't get you to go to a karaoke night. You just ended up. Yeah, at I a just karaoke ended up night. at a karaoke and night, and she you figured this was your best card to throw out. This was your, this was your big joker. Nah, this wasn't push. even a big joker for real. This was like the fucking. This it was, was just the a king of spades. It was the deuce. Okay, it was a deuce. It was bigger okay, it was than the ace. Okay. It was, but it was the Joker was, yeah, nah, we're gonna, I gotta get this bitch. Okay, what, then what's your big Joker in that night? You nah, didn't we, did the Ashanti. We gotta Jabu leave here now. Song. We gotta leave here now. Well, nah, it's already sealed after that. Nah, we still, it wasn't sealed because I had just met the bitch right now. Oh, that night? Yeah. Yeah, oh. I don't know this motherfucker. Yeah. Oh. I don't know this oh. motherfucker. That's why I'm Oh, mean. fuck yeah. Yeah, no, saying. if I came to the bar with her, I'm not fucking doing karaoke. Okay, that's what I was saying. I thought you came yeah, with her. My bad. Right. I missed that. And now you I'm here. Already now impressed, I'm here. Bitch. You definitely said you met her there. And I'm yeah, just hearing yeah. that. I, I, I heard what I wanted to early. No, nah, you Damn. already impressed if you here with me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn. laughs> I just met her right now, guys. Damn. Damn. Yeah. I thought about that the other day too when I was at the little bar. The, uh, I was talking about when I went. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I, w- I don't want. To. Man, okay. I don't want. I don't want you yelling in my ear. <laughs> I don't. Man, I don't know. It made me bougie. I don't know. It made me old. I don't know. It made me snobby. I don't know what it means. You fuck it though. It make you you. Shit. It's not my preference. Is I ain't what I'm saying like, <coughs> maybe there'd be some nights where I won't care, but it's some nights where I can see like, yeah, no, ain't no way that's gonna be how I want to do shit. But okay, ain't had no conversation in here. All right, would you go karaoke again? No. Can we can't go karaoke? No, nah, I'm good. You not, bruh, you not gonna go karaoke with me, man? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna do it. You sound like Isaiah. He's been trying to get me to go karaoke For with real? him. There y'all oh, go. Now you gotta do it to make him mad. No, I don't. No, y'all can go <laughs> together. What you mean? No, you you and Isaiah. I watch. He gonna give you some more stuff. Never mind. Sorry. I'm not. Some what? Wait, wait a bit. Huh? Some more stuff. For the. The, the I'm not price. going. I'm not going. You have a. You can get you two more bikes. Man, okay. Seven more packs Man, of batteries. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going. Fuck that. Damn. You're not going to do no karaoke, bro. We could do like an Eminem and Dr. Dre song. I'm not doing no karaoke. What about Snoop and Dre? I do a you cover. You want to do Gin and Juice? We could do a cover band. Uh, Cover rap. Um, But not at the karaoke night. That's what karaoke is. No, but we got to be the headliners. <laughs> we here. Can't hit like karaoke. Yeah, exactly. So we do a karaoke. Let me think. Uh, you, don't want, you don't like Wayne and 2 Chains. You can't do nothing. I fuck song. with Wayne and 2 Chains. Nah, what you, you mean? Like you ain't like him. He said Wayne and Chains, like Ray and Ghost. He was like, turn that off. No, what? <laughs> Wait, I don't remember. In the car. <laughs> I mean, I like all the shit. I like the shit I like. Um. Let me think. Who else? Who's the other duo? We could be Red Man and Method Man. Takao. No. No. Uh, damn. Who's some other group? What, what are we gonna do? What's our What's our karaoke song? Kato? What no, we, we gonna ain't do got karaoke? man. We ain't we got, got man. one. Come no, on, we tell don't. Me what it is. They don't got it we on did. there. <laughs> Starlito. Starlito oh and Don God. Trill. You gotta be Starlito then. I'll be Starlito. All right. you right. As long as you're Starlito, we could do it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. No. Boom shakalaka. No. No. <laughs> we not I'm good. Not, I'm not doing it. Too loud right here. I ain't appreciate that. I could only imagine. Yeah, no. I don't want no parts of karaoke. Oh man. Well, I I was wondering because I have this working theory, and I'm not sure where I'm falling on it. Okay, then. I think that karaoke is either one of the 
smartest things that humans have ever come up with to okay. do socially in our I don't know when it started. I don't know if there's something that people did in the ancient times and niggas had a fiddle and they was like, yeah, sing old girl song that came through Hell. last month when she was traveling the country. Probably so. You know what I'm saying? Or if, like, I don't know when karaoke started, but I think that it's either one of the smartest, most genius things that humans have done for themselves or it's one of the most psychotic things ever. I think it's smart as fuck. And I'm not sure still where I land. I think it's smart as fuck. When first, go ahead. Motherfucker who had that, that idea, like, you know what? Like, we could just bring to bars, because I feel like at first it was traveling. It was like traveling out karaoke shit. We just bring them to bars. We could let these motherfuckers do other motherfucker songs. Everybody had a good time. <coughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I know a motherfucker who is a competitive karaoke singer. Yeah, she on my Facebook. No. no. No, this is a dude. You remember the, the dude I did the song with, the bad girl shape? You remember I did the song with the dude named Uncle Ray Ray? Hey, you said, I remember that name. I don't know. I don't think I heard the song. That nigga's a competitive karaoke singer. He's like a karaoke. When Trophies and shit, like competitions and shit. There's karaoke competition? Absolutely. Like, there's karaoke national. What are you trying to sound the most like the song? I don't know how it works, but they got national competitions. What? Yes. How much you win? I don't know that either. 1500 <laughs> <laughs> You go to Vegas and win $1,000, yeah. $500 in chips. <laughs> Three days, two nights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two buffets. <laughs> At the Marriott. We laughing, motherfucker. Thirty thousand dollars. Right. Man, right. I ain't. No. Yeah, I don't know though, no shit. And you wouldn't do it? No, nah, I wouldn't do it. Why not? I, would, I don't sing well at all. Well, you can karaoke something that you do well. I, I could karaoke rap. Sure. I don't think I want to Or do, do some of the songs that ain't as singy. Mm -mm. I don't want no, cause you still harm. I don't want to even like sing a little bit. Oh. Not for 30K? Karaoke, N-W-A. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. <laughs> Nug nigga got it bad because I'm brown. <laughs> oh, well, man, you can do that. Man, no, I can't. Do it. 30K, Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Shit. They not going to let me do that one. Um. So you don't think there's anything psychotic about a bunch of people sitting around knowing that everyone around them is basically extremely talentless in what we're all about to focus all our time and energy on. And then we're all going to sit here and clap for the most talentless person at this thing. Yeah, no, and I don't then, do that. Don't clap if it's not good. No, that's how it goes at karaoke. Everybody claps for everybody. They do be clapping. And then after we do that, we're going to send another person who sucks ass yeah. at what they're about to do. To go up here and do it again, and we're all gonna sit here, and you know we're already in a place where we're paying more money for shit than we should. We're already in a place where we're breathing in more. I don't know though, cause we killed that motherfucking Jaru and the Shanti. Though. Yeah, okay, so you're part of the cycle. I'm saying we this killed the problem. This, shit. this is the problem right here. Okay, all right, so you Fuck helping me out here right now? Cause this is what I'm saying. That's Everybody what they all think no. when they get on the stage. All of them think that. All I know of them feel that, that way. No, nigga, no. I knew that song. You already too, said and she, she can't knew sing. The, she, she, you already said she, she couldn't she sing, sing, but she knew the song. That's what's psychotic about it. Killing it at karaoke I isn't doing it. good. I killed it. No, I did good. If you do, if you do really good, you're not doing karaoke no more. You're doing that competition shit. I did. You're not good. doing karaoke for the for the love of hip hop type shit. You're I not know, doing. I it for was the there love. to perform. You, not you didn't. I'm telling you. That's you're part of this. You're part of the cycle. I might now. be. But in a way, I killed walking that off shit. A karaoke stage, feeling like that with I a partner that can't the sing. Mic. See, I yeah. just dropped him. All right, because I was wondering <laughs> if this really helps us or not. And I'm thinking more and more like this is what we're doing to each other. Is like we're we're boosting each other's confidence about things that have no validity but and no I, reason. I feel like no, everybody didn't know. Like, I'm wasted, and I know this shit ain't good, but it's fun, fuck it. Let's no, they do, do that before they're wasted. They just blame it on that later. They be wasted at karaoke. They get wasted eventually. I've, I've karaoke seen lasts for be, like five hours. They be wasted. It's like five hours. And I'm sitting, I'm just I'm just watching people just go up and, and 
Because I had never been to a karaoke thing before. Yeah. I went to one like a month ago or something. I don't know, maybe a little more. But I it just I was sitting there and the first thought was, this is fucking loony. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all are all a little bit crazy. This is bright. It feels a little weird that y'all don't feel like y'all are all crazy. Cause I could tell y'all all feel like this is right. We do the same shit at open mics for like fucking comedy and, and fucking oh, rappers and shit. Oh. I'm just saying we do the same shit at all them. Like you go to your own boy open mic show. <laughs> No, nah, it's not the same. Most of these mm. niggas suck ass for nah, real. It's not the same. It's not. I know what you mean, and that's not a bad comparison, but it's not the same. The, the karaoke thing is up a level because all the people in there, when you go to those open mics and stuff, if you brought your people, you'll get some claps. For the most part, you just, it, don't I even care if you up there rapping. There's seven people out I'm here the drinking I've drink. been to. Motherfucker be clapping when it's over. I, I ain't been in none of those where it'd be like it. The I mean, they don't be, be cheering, but they yeah, be no. clapping. In, the, in the karaoke night, niggas go ham when you get off stage. They do. Niggas though. go ham they during do. the but song. They, I think this niggas get right up there, do as bad as you, and go ham. To be wasted you. doing like, that shit. I yeah, think I think I, karaoke is a drunk activity. I didn't for see real. one person that made me think, "Oh, you're so drunk, you're doing this." That's what I, I've always I, I thought. I mean, I don't know, but I've always thought that karaoke was like a drunk activity. And if they were that drunk, you wouldn't even be able to tell that you can't karaoke. Like you could only be so drunk to get see. Yeah, see what I'm not dead no, drunk. Y'all are fucking not, not like y'all are fall down look at, drunk. Look at the look at the, look at the explanation. Not for stupid it. drunk. I know exactly. But, but so you drunk, goddamn. You scrape. You scrape. Yeah, you just you got, know you got exactly enough courage to be able to go do some shit uh-huh. you wouldn't go do. Nah, that you, you want to do drinking, because goddamn. you feel like you should be able to do it and get this off. And you know now you in a surrounding nah, it's, it's where you something could do it and get it off. You wouldn't do it if you wasn't drinking though. No, most people. No, you you. We can't. It's you I can't just speak need it right for some now. Pussy. Yeah, I was about to say you can't speak right now because you're not part of why people karaoke. Yeah. You karaoke for coochie. Yeah, that's not the same. I just karaoke. I sing for that pussy. <laughs> and every I'll, I'll yeah. karaoke for coochie. It depends on the coochie. Don't. Yeah, it depends on the coochie. This Slow was down. some nice coochie. Yeah, I'll, but I'll karaoke for coochie. I'm not. It's not beyond me or below yeah, me way. or above me. I don't know how. I'll do it. Um, but yeah, you're not in what I'm saying. But I feel like from what I've seen, most of the karaoke I've seen has been karaoke on TV. I'm gonna be. Oh, I haven't watched that yeah. karaoke. On TV. No, I'm seeing no, not like karaoke competitions on TV, <laughs> like karaoke on TV shows and shit. God damn it! I don't know what you mean. Like a mother, like fucking. I ain't seen it on Family Matters, but fucking Steve Urkel. Oh, Urkel, yeah. okay, okay, I know what you yeah. mean. Okay. So this this all I know, and most of the time, oh. them motherfuckers be wasted in there. The one I went to, it really wasn't the motherfucker. Now the motherfuckers who was up there saying it was drunk, goddamn. Yeah, my yeah. Sister, I asked my sister about this to one of my sisters, who wanted to live up north, and she was saying, "Yeah, folks be drunk at some of them." Yeah, them, mo- them motherfuckers was drunk. Now that I think about it, does she that was, make it less psychotic? She was drunk, goddamn. Yeah, because when you're drunk, like, all your inhibitions, like, you just throw all this shit to the wind. It's whatever. Like, nigga, I can sing now. I'm not so going to still think I can sing. So it's less psychotic to go somewhere and do psychotic shit if you're going to get drunk and do it. Yeah, no, nah, this shit, what, what happens in karaoke stays <laughs> in karaoke, I feel it. It's uh, just don't leave That's what I'm bar. missing. That's what I'm missing, okay. Yeah, no, nah, I really did. I really, and at, at some point, I switched, and I was like, I don't know. Maybe this is like the best thing for humans. Like maybe this is one of the best things for humans to do, and I'm just not hip to it because I ain't been in these environments before. But everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. But yeah, like I ain't been in much of them either. Yeah, that was my first one. I just it was bad. It was mind blowing for me. I just I have I say I'd be going every now and then. I'll pop into a place where I never expected to find myself Man, nah, I and just be watching what's going on. What's going down I here? Be observing, like damn, I didn't. You got to like, do we shit, know You couldn't who even don't. see the people singing the karaoke because there wasn't no stage or nothing. No, it was just on the ground, on the, the rest. flow level, man. Yeah, okay. yeah. and everybody sitting at tables with high chairs. Get the fuck we out can't see you here, over there no. through the crowd. Like, All of the niggas at the front can see man. you. Man, yeah, yeah, and a couple folks in some booths over the there. Fuck like, out of here. Yeah, or the nigga up in the D, it was a DJ booth way up high. Man, I ain't. Who yeah. the fuck got booths to karaoke night? Yeah. Man, I yeah. ain't. Well, there was food there and shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas oh, was okay. eating. Niggas was in there grubbing. But, uh. And some of it smelled good too. I can't lie. By the time I had den- I had said no a couple times, we were about to leave. I was like, ugh. Nigga said, said yeah, that's just, that's just man, smell I good as hell right now. Man, what? Yeah, I did one of those. But yeah, I I, I did 
karaoke night made me really experience because I didn't ever want to judge it without going. You ain't gonna sing? No. Why you ain't gonna sing? The fuck? What you mean? What you mean? What I mean? Ah, uh, you can do karaoke. I'm not doing no karaoke. Do some karaoke. No, I did. I, I did it with my sisters when we was little. I'm yeah, little. All right. And yeah, nah, I'm karaoke just talking shit. Enough. I ain't gonna do it. Karaoke is enough. I wasn't about to get no pussy, so. I ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I Fuck got all the shit. pussy I'm finna get. I ain't karaoke. Yeah. Well. I don't know. Right pussy show up. I might carry okay for it. Right. Show me the pussy first. Put, no. Nah, don't put Man, all right. Put your pussy on live. Just die down. Man, what? Put your pussy on live. I can't rock for you, bitch. Oh, okay, I'm a pond on this, but I think you've leaned me a little bit from this conversation. I think I'm leaning a little more towards the psychotic side now. Maybe so. We all yeah. fucking psychopaths. Right yeah, here. no, we are. And that's why I was thinking maybe I'm tripping and it's like a save thing. It's you got to know for when to hold them. You do. This shit don't sound good. Fuck you mean. You do got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. You do got to know when to fold them too. Know when to walk away. That's all I know. Know when to hide. I, you got to count your you blessings. you hiding from? I don't know. If Police right coming. Words. When they sitting on the table. And some some other stuff he said. All right. About the stuff. I don't know none of this shit. I don't either. Shout out to whoever that was. Oh. The Gambler. Ain't this the name of the song? Oh, is it? I have no idea. I think so. I don't know. I could be wrong as fuck, too. You ready? We we, we are supposed to be places. Hey, man. Say, shit. man. We appreciate y'all fucking with us one time we like y'all been fucking with. Say that shit we you do. were going to say. I believe you should say it at the end. What shit? You, this shit you said, I'm going to say every show. Ugh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Damn, y'all forget it. Don't man. y'all forget it. Right. What the oh, fuck? Uh, could you, uh, yeah. Fuck with us next time. Could you fuck with us the last time? Could you fucking with us this time or something like that right there? I don't even remember. God hey, smoke something, bitch. You feel me? Hey, look. This is for entertainment purposes only. Explicit motherfucking content. Parental guidance is strongly suggested. Pay attention to what your kid's doing on the internet. Subscribe, like, share, smoke for me the podcast. Boom shakalaka.